for this episode of uh, Countdown to Infinity and Avengers podcast, our spoiler full endgame, Avengers Endgame edition, um, I just want to explain to you a couple things. We thought we were going to be recording a really short episode, but we were so excited, as I'm sure you guys are, for the newest Marvel film. It was just so insane that we actually ended up recording three hours worth of, uh, of episode, including a trivia game and what where we think the characters go from 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 here um so instead of having one gigantic episode uh which you'll hear me uh talk about in the beginning because originally we thought we'll talk about it for just one hour um little do we know we would we would end up talking longer than the movie's runtime um we, we split it up into three parts so this first part is our spoiler full I don't even want to say review, but our spoiler full talk of uh, Avengers Endgame, every, all the biggest twists and turns, so it's definitely filled with spoilers. Uh, fair warning if you haven't seen it, um, but it's really long. So our two hours is how long this very first uh, part is. All of them are going to be released on the same day. So uh, if you finish this or if you want to just listen to the trivia game or where we think the characters go from there, from here, uh, all those episodes are out too. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to explain to you, we're, we're going to be talking and slowly getting tired and more deranged if you, if you listen to all of them in a row. But these are three separate episodes now. Uh, so uh, basically part one, part two, part three, you'll see them in the titles. Um, but enjoy Countdown to Infinities, our, our final episode, the, the Avengers Endgame Insane Mega Episode. And just say that if you'd asked me in 2008, 9, 10 how I felt about it, I would say that I was the Atlas of the Marvel Universe. I was holding it up. Well, you were. They should erect a shrine in my honor, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. I really just got, I got to be the, the front man in a band that was going to be in the Hall of Fame no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Countdown. <laughs> John's rubbing it off. I just sneezed fucking all sne- over like, John. Yeah, it was disgusting. This is a funny way to start. Well, everyone's <laughs> so sick right now. I will be. Sick. I think it's allergies because I've been having like sneeze attacks for like three days. Oh, wow. I think I have polio because I can't uh, move. <laughs> I need an iron lung. Oh, that's why you're like, yeah. Yeah. I, I was wondering why it was weird when you were in a big machine right now. I'm going to run for president. Do you remember the FDR had polio? Oh, okay. I guess he's the only one, so that doesn't... Do mean. I remember if FDR, when FDR had polio? You were around, right? You're like Captain America's age. <laughs> Welcome to Countdown to Infinity and Avengers podcast. Uh, so, well, a couple years ago, we started watching every single Marvel movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that all led up to this season where we talked about every single superhero. And that all led up to Endgame, and now it's post that. So Now it's happened. Now it's happened. We're living in a post-Endgame world. I don't yeah. know if I said that the last episode, too. It's more like ending. More ending. Yeah, more en- ending or end gamer. been more ended then it's ended now. <laughs> That's a, it's never been more over than yeah. Then it's over. Then it's over now. Sure. Um, so this is our spoiler full episode of Countdown to Infinity. <laughs> our review of and I don't even want to say this is a review. I hate saying that because really we're just going to talk about everything that we can think of and want to talk about when it comes to Avengers Endgame. I always feel like review is like us with tea and our glasses to the tip of our noses yeah. and be like, well, I believe well, so. I'll say. You're also too, like a review makes it seem like we're going to have like an like an actual like structure yeah. to this. <laughs> and there's not going to like we're not, yeah, that's not going to be hey, do you remember crazy. that time that character died? <laughs> you, know. like, you just bring it up. Right so, now. yes, this is spoiler full. We have a spoiler free review if you caught this and you don't want yeah. to, to hear all of this. Yeah. Um, listen to the spoiler free review first and then come on back here to the spoiler full review. Well, we, and then you got to watch the movie first, though. Oh, yeah. So for, watch the spoiler free, uh, listen to the spoiler free one, go watch the movie, and then listen to this one. Sandwich Endgame with us, pretty much. Yeah. Um, before we get through all of the cool things we're going to do, uh, if we, we want to hear from you, we want to know what you think about the movie, uh, email us a review or a soundbite to info at delphinpod.com or leave a message on our phone line, 512 937 3763. 512 937 uh, D pod, and uh, we're gonna have a couple episodes. Uh, it's already filling up our 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 answering machine. It's already filling up with some of the things you guys have to say. I can't wait to listen to it. There's there's reviews from around the globe, the world, around the world. Around the world. So here's how this episode's gonna go. We're gonna open it up. We're just gonna talk a lot about Endgame, the plot, what we think, 
about it, just all the emotions we had, uh, how we feel it stacks up to the other MCU movies, how it works with Infinity War, all the big stuff, all of it. So it's going to be crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In the middle of, we're going to take a break, and then we're going to do a really exciting surprise endgame trivia game um, in the middle. Then we're going to take another oh, break. that is a surprise. I know, surprise I for you know. guys. Yeah, that is that, actually... That's actually you gotta I didn't go. Know that was gonna happen. Are you gonna go? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bye. I'm just kidding. Uh, so we're gonna have a trivia ambush. Game. This is an ambush here. We're gonna have a really fun trivia game in the middle of this, and then we're going to have uh, at, we're to finish it off. We're gonna go character by character, and it's not. We're not gonna spend like another season on this. I'm just literally gonna go down a list. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised. Like in all, let's do. This. Our <laughs> eyes are like me and Drew's eyes are like, like growing my wider. Agent didn't tell me about this part. We're basically this gonna go down the, the list of the characters that we talked about in, in season two of Endgame and just talk about <laughs> where we think they're gonna go or how we think their character is wrapped up. So this is not gonna be too long, but it might be, be long. Yeah, yeah, it's never the size that matters. Yeah, charge your batteries, your phone batteries, because you don't know if it might die. Especially if it's like an old phone or something. True. True. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get started. Again, this is the last spoiler warning. Here we go. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about Endgame. Jesus. Oh. Beezus. Oh, you don't want to? What do you want to talk Sucked. about then? Let's talk about whatever you want then. <laughs> no, I'm just you don't want to talk about the weather <laughs> or yeah. politics. Or, I know. Um, Endgame. Uh, an insane thing. And I, I, I don't even know where to start without maybe starting to recap the movie. But it's weird because you have all seen it. So why would we... Yeah. Want right. to recap it because you saw it? Exactly. But it 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 le- it leaves us or it, it leaves us, but it starts with a reminder of what this movie is all about, which is the the fixing the result of the snapping from the Infinity War, the decimation. Yeah, yeah. I mm-hmm. was reading that the Russo brothers originally had the Infinity clapping the, of cheeks. <laughs> the ending of the Infinity War film was going to be Thanos getting all of the stones. Full stop. The beginning of this movie was going to be snap. the snap, yep, yeah. and then what else happens. But then they were like, "Well, let's. What would leave the audience wanting more? Either the snap or we Empire. don't." Empire, <laughs> Empire, what? Empire Strikes Back. Oh, I thought you meant Empire the Fox Show with Jesse Smollett, and I was oh, like, "Damn, oh, oh. we're going into it." <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> You're Ooh, right. We're right into it, baby. <laughs> um, half of the people turned it off. Um, but yeah, so I was like, man, this is insane that they decided to do that. It just only makes sense, I guess. Cause, uh, but yeah, uh, what did you think about the way it opened with Hawkeye, who was missing from Infinity War, uh, having this this moment with his family where he, you know, literally turns around yeah. <laughs> and yeah, his and life is different. It was so funny because as soon as, like, the opening shot came in, I turned to John and I was like, they're about to get snapped. Like, yeah. super, like, in the first, like, two oh. seconds. Oh, you could totally tell. Yeah. yeah. What if they did it, it was, and it everything was, little, was normal? That would suck. You just it was like, a little oh. um, predictable, but it was, uh, I mean, it was sad. Cause, I, mean, I mean, you can see, had, like. his kids, and especially because a lot of, uh, you know, two or three of them were mm-hmm. young. And Hawkeye's are really. How many kids do he have? <laughs> he, he's. Six. He's, He's really important to this particular film right, because yeah. he also has a, a journey throughout this film. Um, and, I mean, uh, we, they first explain why he's not in Avengers Infinity War. House Arrest. House Arrest. Well, you see that around his leg, too. He yeah. has one of those same little things that um, yeah. that Scott. Scott Lang had. But he doesn't have a giant ant that can, he can... Uh, and that, that I like can, how and were... apparently he can go outside. Yeah, right? exactly. he, he can't really go like anywhere Scott else. He really got the shit into that dude. I know. He can't even do anything. <laughs> He's inside his house. It, but, but Hawkeye was noticeably missing from Infinity War. But he has such a big, important role to play in this film. Especially when it comes to uh, Black Widow's character. Um, I feel like without him... Yeah, Black Widow would be a very different character, character yeah. now. I mean, we'll talk mm-hmm. about her later. Um, but what did you think about all of the cr- the the what What did you think was going to happen in this movie? I guess. Uh, wait, are we going there? Yeah, like, or what like, do you like, think? What Because what? this movie is a very like now that we can actually talk about it, like yeah. fully on spoilers and don't have to tiptoe around it. Yeah. Um, it was a. I mean, I don't know. I I don't know what I expected out of this movie. I knew that, like you know, in the weeks leading up to it and i know that when you were whenever we were kind of uh you know reading theories on it or yeah. like you know reading um set visits and stuff because I, I love uh production you know the production side of stuff so like you know i would, I would read up on you know what's happening on set the set uh photos you know that people like kind of sneak, sneak in there the set pretending to I would, be yeah yeah like jimmy would, john's delivery person exactly yeah and then um his name is john <laughs> <laughs> hi i'm john jimmy <laughs> oh and i'm andrew <laughs> andrew john is that another sandwich place um 
I yeah. Oh, so shit. we knew. Th- yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. We didn't introduce ourselves. Yeah, exactly. That's why you I, guys know already yeah, by this point. I feel now. like yeah. yeah. We're your different hosts okay. from the entire. From the- I will say this though. I was sick on that last episode, and someone said that they thought I was a scroll. That's right. Yeah, they said that you were probably bawling so or something. I'll, at I'll one prove point. it right now. So you guys asked me a question that only I would know. Um, did you used to bang books? Yeah. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you knew there was some time travel involved, um, but you didn't know how it would work or anything, or even if it would be, even if the time travel wasn't, like, I guess, mm-hmm. like, it was kind of like, you, they had to do this, but they didn't, like, so you really didn't know what the fuck to expect. Um, the movie that we did get was trippy as hell. I, I've been telling people it's kind of like a Doctor Who episode with, like, superheroes in it. Um, it was, it was pretty, it's pretty mind-blowing, like, the way, the amount of stuff that they fit and the, with the way this plot is compared to all the other movies is very, very different. Um, it's very... You know, now that we can say um, the first Avengers movie is a straight up like superhero team up. Yeah. Second Avengers movie is a robot, um, robot apocalypse, like, you know, um, backdrop almost. Um, they have a. Uh, they still were grappling. I think Iron Man was very much grappling with what he saw in Avengers still, mm-hmm. uh, that, which really drove the purpose for him to create all of the all Ultron other, and yeah, all, all that the Ultron stuff. stuff. Yeah. And that actually comes to a head in this movie, too, and that, that moment with him. and He's like, I wanted a suit around the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, like, all this like, callbacks from, from the original Craig. one. <laughs> um, so you had a. And then you have Infinity War, which is a disaster movie, almost like Roland Emmerich type of, like, you know, disaster Depending movie. Yeah. Zo- doom. Yeah, um, sci-fi movie. This one's a, a straight-up time travel, like, yeah. sci-fi flick, which is pretty it, awesome. And it, lots it, of Back to the Future references. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And a lot of other movies that have time travel. It is kind of a very complex choice to make, because time travel is not exactly the easiest thing for... I don't want to say for audiences to understand, but it's not the easiest thing for a plot to have time travel, because we are... We at this point we're exposed to it quite a bit, and I think it's really good that they reference Back to the Future. Thanks for holding my hand yeah. and all that other stuff uh, because they knew it, and they were basically looking at the audience and saying, "We know what you're thinking. Like this is this is just something that we can do because we're literally in a superhero movie." Yeah, yeah. And at this point, it's very easy for at this point. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it's it's very easy for the audience to accept that because yeah. now you have a. I mean, you have a talking raccoon, like yeah. you know, interacting with other characters. You have a. Uh, superwoman who gl- glows golden. You know, you have all these like stuff that's like super fantastical. That time travel isn't such a far step, you know, in a in a different direction because it is like the whole thing is absurd. So. Well, I, th- that's what I really loved about this film is because immediately we we went from Infinity War. The main goal of the Avengers was to kill Thanos. Mm-hmm. K- that was it. Like kill Thanos. Keep him away from the last stone or the last two stones. Stones. Thones. Oh, oh, <laughs> Thanos stones. Stones. <laughs> um, Game of Thones. <laughs> uh, keep him away from the last stones. Kill Thanos. That was the point. But in this movie, very quickly, 30 minutes into it, boom, done. Yeah. Thanos Oh, dead. yeah, definitely. Thanos and that, gone. That's yeah. probably one of the, the earliest twists of the movie. That surprised the shit out of me. Yeah. Um, they they you went got, for the head. You got Farmer Thanos. Yeah. Uh, it's like Two-Face Thanos, too. Yeah, they know where he is. Yeah. I mean, uh, they they retrieve Iron Man, and this is this is really Iron Man's movie, right? Yeah, definitely. From start to finish. Of course, there's really big moments for everyone else. Someone actually did the breakdown of how much screen time all these heroes had. Mm-hmm. Iron Man's in it for mile. like an hour. Iron yeah. Man has the most, uh, but this is his movie. Really, uh, and so we, we he's in space, you know, all that stuff happens. Um, yeah, with the he's basically hanging out with Nebula there, yeah. Um, he gets rescued by Captain Marvel, who Which, just had her own movie, yeah. And, and I originally I was like, well, how did Captain Marvel even find him? They actually explained this, they were released a, a scene, Marvel released something on Twitter or something like that, uh, that isn't in the movie, but Mar- Captain Marvel comes to Earth first, and then they go look for Iron Man. And so it's not, oh. it's not random. So that's that, that's my thing. I was like, man, this is kind of so that scene weird. where she at the very end of Captain Marvel is like, where's Nick Fury? That happens first, that and happens then she first. goes up there and gets. And you know him. what? It, when I looked back on that scene, she's wearing her Captain Marvel. She's wearing like her uniform. Her uni- yeah. yeah, it's yeah. a very different thing than the arrival that she has. So she does find Iron Man. Um, they come back to Earth, and very quickly they know where because of uh, a Nebula's there. They know where Than Thanos is, and they're like, let's just fucking do it. Yeah. And and then originally. Part of me was it's like, like, it's the same thing. That let's take the fight to him. Yeah, <laughs> and you're like, huh? Okay, and then and then even Captain Marvel's like, now you have me, and because that's ultimately what we thought after Captain Marvel was like, the savior is like, is, like it's is, just gonna now they're probably just gonna have to find him. Yeah. like and that I, that's what I thought the majority of the film was. I knew that there was time travel. That I was like, maybe that's to bring them yeah. back. But and then maybe... she's in it for like five minutes. I know. It's crazy. She's not in it for that long, really. She's not really, and I think that has a lot to do with. Um, we were talking about this before we recorded um, the last one. Is we, that we we had such good conversations off mic 
I think yeah, after it was kind of weird. Recorded this we talked free one. We talked for like an for hour. like an hour, yeah, about it. We um, just recorded that shit. It's just it, it was um, well, it's it, like I said, it's really hard to talk about the movie without like you know spoiling much. Yeah. Um, the Captain Marvel thing, though, I mean, you can totally tell that that was um, she had obviously done. This is before captain marvel the movie came out yeah so like um they filmed this way before way yeah, before yeah. that and so like you can totally tell that russo's didn't know what to do with her and even then like i think her character even acts very different than what she did in that movie yeah um i think it's also it's due to the fact that larson um probably you know didn't know how to yeah. she developed the her character, character on yeah. captain marvel so here she was just playing i think they just told her you're all powerful right yeah and so i so think cocky it, yeah, i think they yeah. did the same thing they did with vision really who was the only other all-powerful um uh, like superhero Zero? like yeah, they kind of had ultron they have to handicap him in, in the infinity war and they handicap her by having her leave and yeah, having just going to yeah deal with other things but i think ultimately that's just because this movie was really focused on the original right yeah avengers and, and their storylines um, but yeah, so they, they get rid of Thanos so quickly in the movie. And, and what did you guys think? And I feel like ultimately that's the end of Thanos because the, the Thanos that we see later on is a different, it really is, but it's a Thanos a of the past. Yeah. And so I feel like the, the, the Thanos from Infinity War ends in this. The layered Thanos, the, the multi-layered yeah, Thanos The one that we end. agree with. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, and He's we're like, like Killmonger. Yeah. Like, like he, he wants like something like out of the the decimation he's not just yeah. evil for the for now that doesn't know. happen in the comic books though right like them killing him you early know, he, on he, no oh no i think adam warlock does does him in the comics does, basically does him does yeah. him in i mean does him in <laughs> and out <laughs> inside <laughs> what comp what book is this bro <laughs> what kind of smut are you reading well that's something that's really important too and i think uh andrew you brought this up when you were like I you still like Infinity War more, right? And part of Hot it is take. because you I'm have. Sorry, he didn't he didn't ease you into that. Sorry, <laughs> no, sorry. Yeah. He didn't prep you. I, was, I did. I didn't do he you didn't in. Spin on it. He didn't uh, spin on it. <laughs> um, but Andrew, you were you were. But part of it is the context that you've read the Infinity War comic books, and if you even just look at the picture of the Infinity War comic book, it is so much bigger and grander than the film that we got. When it comes to how many superheroes there are, right? Yeah. Ultimately, how powerful Thanos is. So, I could understand how you're like, "Where's the Silver Surfer? Where are all these other correct?" But did that play into kind of just where you were for Endgame? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, I mean, I I did like Endgame, but I just kind of I don't know. Like for me, I know they're two different mediums, but I get the same effect from like reading like something new, uh, like a new concept in like a comic book or whatever. Because I mean, there's a lot of Marvel books where it it's really like blown my mind. Like I I didn't think anything like this was possible. Yeah, and I mean, and it plays into your imagination where you can kind of like you know, um, you know, you see one panel, but you see you know you're imagining one one uh, some other stuff. Yeah. Um. So, um, I mean, with movies, I know that you just kind of have to, you, you, it's like movies and TV where it's like the medium where you can just sit there and absorb it rather than actually, you know, and reading is kind of like almost you have to put a little bit of effort into yeah. it type thing. So, um, it's, it's two different mediums for sure. But again, like, uh, w- exposing myself to these early concepts, you know, early on, or especially in like the, uh, in the, the earlier books I've read. So like when, you know, we're going to talk about this later. Yeah, yeah. 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 But when Cap picks up like the hammer. Oh yeah. Huge moment. I- I've seen that in the book. Yeah. And I was like, man, that was fucking epic the yeah. first time I saw it. Yeah. So seeing stuff like this, it kind of took away from that. It was really cool that it's on live action, obviously now. But um, it did kind of diminish a lot of the impact because I mean, like it's like you said, we saw that panel where it's like the X Men and you see like Galactus yeah. there, everyone facing Thanos in the whole Marvel cinema, uh, in the whole Marvel universe in general. And um, I get that same effect. So when I watched Passion of the Christ, I was like, I already oh, read, I already oh, read oh, this oh, book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what is this? You know oh, how this? I know how this ends. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> this is not so, as good as the picture book. Again, from I think, Tales. I think that's what um, did it mainly for me. I mean, ten years of build up of. 11 years now 11 years of build up you know it kind of set damn it <laughs> keep hitting my phone sorry uh it kind of set a a super high bar that i don't think it was ever going to surpass that expectation yeah. and i think that's um kind like it's almost like it hurt me yeah. where i was like man this was destined to be like one of the greatest movies of all time yeah and it was, to me, it wasn't that. That's so weird. That's why I was asking you. I think you, you mentioned in the last one about like the bias. They asked because I legitimately asked yeah. you. I was oh, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to attack you. I was like, do yeah. you just have a bias? Like, no, towards man. stop attacking him. Well, yeah, no, I because what's well, only attacked. because of the thing is like, because I remember you coming out of BVS and you were yeah. like, 
this is was awesome yeah, and i'm yeah, just thinking yeah. like really this one no, like yeah, of all things like it's funny because uh i remember sitting in the theater like ready be- for this movie to start and i almost had like an anxiety like panic attack heart attack whatever because of how excited i was <laughs> yeah. some sort of attack I, yeah i was so like you know scared as to what was going to happen everything and i think if i was biased i wouldn't have felt that way you yeah. know because i obviously cared and or, or so it's it was just a. Uh, Again, I think I just expected too much, and it, I mean naturally after eleven years, you yeah. know. And there's but, some valid, yeah. And oh, and it's 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 really hard to put eleven years into one movie. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not very many people could have done it successfully. And again, while it was good, I think just a lot of those factors kind of uh, kind of uh, didn't you know propel it to you know even Rotten Tomatoes has it at like ninety six percent. There's Black some... Panthers at ninety seven. So, uh, but that that's where again it hurt me. Where I was like, man, you were destined to be the best one. So there are some valid criticisms that I will say, and part of it too is just what this movie is, and it's a part two. It is of for sure another film, and so there are a lot of people who judge movies based on what they are separate, like as as, as they are, like on yeah. an island. What is this movie? Right, they standalone. And so I think without. If you hadn't seen, and you know a lot of them have, but without the context of what this movie is and what the relevance of some of these moments, they are they're pretty misplaced. Like if you had, if you didn't know that elevator scene with Captain America, if yeah. you didn't know that that only Thor could wield, or the only someone who could who can wield the hammer, the hammer, yeah, worthy, yeah, you'd go to this movie and be like, "This is just like stuff. Yeah, this is like weird. this is like, just it's a extra stuff almost, that's yeah. happening." Or if so. you've only watched like Captain America: Winter Soldier yeah. and you watch this movie and you see a talking raccoon like with yeah. the Avengers, you're just kind of yeah. like, "What? That's kind of weird," you know? So, so. I, and I, I feel like. Uh, um, there, there's that on one side, but then on the opposite side, watching all these movies, picking up on all yeah. the tiny little well, and things, it's... and seeing it all come together in one giant yeah. three-hour thing well, is, is it, amazing. It's it's uh, while it's not one of the best cin- you know movies cinematically of all time for me, I think it's one of the most unique because yeah. again, it's like there's nothing like it. Yeah, to I mean, the closest thing like it is like James Bond. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, but it's like in a series of films. Yeah, you know, it's definitely uh, uh, it, it has that aspect that makes it a finale, which uh, yeah, a lot it feels of times, like a show. just like a TV show finale. Like if you tune in and you hadn't seen so many of the other episodes, yeah, you're you're just there because you know it's a finale. Well, and then you do the series finale and you get all these callbacks yeah. and stuff and references to these old, you know, the old, you know, big moments of the show. And that's basically what this movie was. I was really, I, I really enjoyed as to how. Uh, human they made the heroes Ooh. feel because i think in a lot of these movies we kind of forget that yeah. you know they're so uh, impenetrable or they're they're so you know um and it's, it's they're invincible it's basically. a trademark of marvel too just the marvels even in the comic books their heroes yeah. are very human they yeah. have so many flaws mm-hmm. uh I, I would say most of them have a ton of flaws yeah, right yeah uh, and 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 the movies definitely don't run away from that even before endgame and uh, yeah, but uh, uh, Endgame has a lot of really deep, impactful moments, and it, it's very oh, definitely. melodramatic. I'd say very emotional. Yeah, and that's not a that's not like hyperbole. It's it's definitely emotional. Oh yeah, it, to a point. There's a lot there. Movie. We're talking about like straight up death stuff. You know. Yeah, yeah and then there's like because the whole first act of the movie is basically um, the Avengers grieving. Like yeah. it's it's how they they deal with the grief and how um how those characters deal with losing and. That's a whole thing. We never got that in other superhero movies because yeah. we never. We always just like. Well, they again, always win in all these. Exactly, yeah, movies. and or in every superhero movie, not just Marvel ones. Like you know, the, you know, the hero has to win, mm-hmm. and there's never been. Um, I think like Snyder may have tried, tried to with do the death something. Of Superman. Yeah, he's tr- he tried to do something like on a commentary on like what it what it what it means Are to you win guys or lose. Release the Snyder cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> with the previs. Definitely not. <laughs> Um, I'm not one of those Snyder um, cut of people. End game. Yeah, this, <laughs> the end game Hashtag Snyder cut. Release the Snyder cut of 300. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sucker punch. But you have this movie that really oh, does know. like kind of. The, <laughs> I just this, don't like Sucker Punch. Sorry. This movie really does like dive into that. Like, what does it mean to actually win? And what does it mean to lose? And what does well, that do to you? The Russell brothers said each Avenger is in a different stage of grief. And I'm, I could look up the seven stages, but I know there's um, acceptance, and you definitely know there are some. You're like, off there. the top of my head. Know, here we go. Like, I'm going through all of them that, at the same that's, time. Uh, there's well, like, that's the Hulk. That's the Hulk. Hulk that's even like Captain America. Captain America. In some way. Yeah. Um, hey, even even, even even Tony Stark, right? Like he's Stark. partially in, in Tony Stark. Yeah, he he moved on in a, in a way that like wasn't exactly, I guess, healthy. But he did. He was one of those people who just kind of turned their back. Like, yeah. all right, well, it happened. Well, then, like, let's not dwell on it. That's Ooh, it. Spoiler alert: He has a kid. So um, there's five stages of grief. I'm looking it up right now. Seven stages? Is that what you said? I know earlier. Is it like the seven sins? The seven so deadly sins? There's denial, anger, depression, bargaining, and acceptance. <laughs> and so we talked about Hawkeye 
originally he's definitely in the depression. anger and slash uh, depression because he's now, he's not even Hawkeye anymore, right? He's Ronin. He's, he's mutilating Ronin, yeah. bodies of oh. Yakuza. He turned into and, um yeah he turned into the Punisher he turned really into like, the Dark Knight from uh, the Dark Knight Returns. <laughs> Just no, the Punisher, people. like from season two of the Punisher this, on this, Netflix. This is the second Ronin in the MCU, right? Yeah. yeah. It's spelled differently. The accusing. Um, 47. I, I mean, a lot of them are going through depression, but I, I think of Black Widow more so when I think about depression. Yeah. Because there's that moment she talks about losing her family. Yeah. She's Nick Fury. Basically. I feel like she's the one who doesn't know, like it's 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 all bleeding out. Like, you know, her motion is basically like just like just like coming out of her, like um, and she doesn't know what to do with it, yeah. I feel like. Because she's like breaking down in the middle of scenes and stuff. That, and her, she doesn't have a family. Her and Steve, I feel like, are related in that aspect because, like, Steve um, Rogers also, like, you know, didn't have anything because well, he just basically, crazy, like, is that like that's what she had, like that's what she would throw herself into mm. is her work, like that. That's all I have, and then now well, that's that what she gone, said here. Yeah, she's yeah. like, I have to do it again. You well, know? bargaining like, is one no of the stages of grief, and that's kind of leaning onto her there because when you bargain, you're like, well, I'm going to do this now. You know, like my my friend just died. I need to really be good. Like I need to start working more. Like, right. Yeah. Well, because so she says that to Akoya. That. She says that to Akoya at one point. Like yeah, they're all in the. A, that's a really cool scene where in like, the hologram. hologram. Oh, very you know, Avengers. Captain Marvel. That's yeah. super Rocket comic Raccoon, booky. Raccoon, Akoya. Yeah. And they're like, like super out comic booky. Small yeah. fire. Or like they're they're doing what Avengers really should be, have been well, doing. Right. Yeah. yeah. They're patrolling and stuff. So Captain Marvel's patrolling like the galaxy. Well, Akoya says something about an earthquake, and she's like, "Well, how are we dealing with that?" And he's like, "We're dealing with that." She's like, "I don't know how. It's just an earthquake. We don't know how to deal." Or the Submariner question yeah. mark? Submariner Anymore? question yeah. mark? The Girthquake. <laughs> That's interesting. That's a good idea for... Because uh, another big thing, and this mm. is kind of... Le- I'm kind of jumping towards the end here because we know everyone comes back. Oh, uh, what the f- look, okay, you know, we'll yeah. talk about it later. No, I'm just kidding. We'll talk about it when we talk about all the... Wait, wait, was that related to what we're talking about right now, though? Like, no, it, it had some, not, uh. nothing <laughs> of grief. It had to do with the... Uh, the a Koye thing that, oh, about the Submariner type sitch. Oh, oh, okay. um, but yeah, we'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, so these characters are really, I mean, we they're all grieved. And what are the five? Okay, so who's in the, what are the sage? Uh, 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 your, your the bargaining one would be like Tony Stark, right? I'm assuming. So or bargain, like, or, or Rogers. Bargaining is basically um, like a temporary truce. So we become lost in a maze of if only or what if statements. We want life returned to what it was. We want our loved ones restored. Oh shit! We want to go back in time. Oh snap! Find the the tumor sooner. Recognize the illness more quickly. Stop the accident from happening. Oh shit! That's like the whole yeah, movie. The whole, mo- yeah. the whole movie is bargaining. No one gets to the last point. But here are the stages: it's denial, anger, depression, bargaining, and acceptance. It's- and you know what? Ultimately, I don't think maybe anyone has actually accepted it, or else no one would. Would have do, done what they've would do done. do anything, yeah. So this is almost not getting to the last stage of grief, which is saying, you know, this is it. Like, I'm okay with it. They all stop at bargaining. And they're like, okay, cool. We're superheroes. Let's let's fix everything. Yeah, I think um, I think um, Tony makes it seem like he accepted it, but he yeah. doesn't. Because he stays up li- late, yeah. you know, that one night and basically, like, you know, and I, figures out a time machine. And like, one of the cool, th- like, I remember referencing on our, the episode right before I watched Infinity Wars. I think you guys had already seen it or something. Guys, John and Andrew saw this movie, like, five months ago. Uh, yeah, we did. Um, but so I, story. I watched uh, Infinity War, and there's a moment where he's talking to Pepper Potts. I don't know if you remember this. And they're like, I just, we had kids, like, we were happy. Yeah, we had a yeah, family dream, yeah. in the beginning of Infinity War. And I remember seeing this and being like, this is the, this is the, the this, dream. This is the dream. Yeah. He has it was the dream. just a dream. But then you're like, this, the other dream he had was that vision in Ultron, which is a very different dream than yeah. this, um, which ends up, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Uh, but so it's. How so, many things are we going to talk about later? I'm just kidding. Uh, this, uh, we'll talk about it later. Who, who cares? <laughs> I do this all, I love doing that. When someone asks me a question just but, outside of this, but all the time, I'm like, oh, we'll, we'll answer it later and then never get around to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so so uh, yeah so so Robert Downey Jr. or so, shit sorry Tony Stark has everything that he wants and one of the biggest decisions for him is whether or not to even attempt to do because he's yeah. he's the smartest guy well, and alive right that's what's really right, cool yeah 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 oh, sure Shuri. he's not, yeah exactly gone no, yeah, exactly. dusted. So and he's the smartest guy around. Hulk seems to be kind of slacking yeah. um, nowadays. Well, let, let's talk about the Hulk a little bit. What is he? Have heard? I've heard of like Professor, Professor Hulk. Like, what's Hulk, what's, what's the thing? What's going on with him? Banner's brain and Hulk's body. Are you sure it's just not Mister Hulk? They call him just Mister Hulk in this. Kind of interesting, right? Like yeah. it's no, it's yeah. Professor Hulk in the the book. But I mean, there's a, but he has a bunch of them. Mister Fix It, like so, pe- like uh, actual people who basically you know are smarter than the Hulk should. <laughs> Even Hulk the Hulk is a, now. I would um talking about the Hulk. I didn't um enjoy a lot of the 
I enjoyed the Hulk, like yeah. you know the, the way the Hulk was characterized. He's really funny. He's probably one of the um, um, one of the greater uh, yeah. you know, um, that you know forms of cult. No, uh, oh yeah, he one dabbed. of the greater forms of comedy in this one. Like he's kind of comedic relief. Um, him and Thor, which is unfortunate. Um, that being said, I don't really like the way the half-ass explanation that we get from him on why he's Creating like that. Himself, I yeah. really wanted to see that mm. like we yeah. kind of get this already afterwards like oh yeah i me and the whole you know we got over it and we, we're now one yeah, we figured out the like the well, roughest part of it was yeah. the relationship wasn't that funny in like infinity war you couldn't get him to come out and then yeah. suddenly he's like yeah we're both okay cool well there's it, there's a, there's a well, time it's, jump it's it, it's it's a time jump but also like they, they he does explain too he's like i eight months in a gamma lab so i guess eight months he was there perfecting himself like you know trying to you know yeah. basically hash it out with a the hulk there's two um, i think there's two reasons see that, why though. they did so they ultimately probably thought here we have mark ruffalo who's a great actor we need him in this thing but also one of the things that uh feige feech that fiji waters i already said that before the one of the big things with him was he and why he was so hesitant with the hulk even just using him ever was he never wanted the hulk to be uh just repetitious, the same all the time. Right. Because yeah. he was like, every time you see Iron Man, something's upgraded. Every time you see Thor, something's different. Yeah, this is the only every time you see way. the Hulk, you need to. Some, there has to be something different with the Hulk. The only logical way it could have it could have gone. That's that's totally yeah. true. In terms of like actually making an arc for these characters, I mean, that is the only way it would have gone. That's true. I finally, accept if we never see Hulk again. Yeah, they're like, let's make him bigger. Like Fuck this, it. I know, right? He's just bigger Hulk now. <laughs> He's purple Hulk. Ang Lee yeah, Hulk. Gray yeah. Hulk. Uh, so th- yeah, so I I can understand that they had to. I mean, because they had to ele- they had to really change everyone in in the five year jump that that that, that happened. happens. Yeah, Thanos yeah. destroys the stone, and then five years go. There I know. Go. Like it, oh yeah, forgot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that time, oh I, yeah. I don't know what the importance. I I think the time jump in, importance was to show just how people are dealing with. And this thing that's irreversible, or just to even show how irreversible it is. It was, yeah, exactly. Uh, I think that's what it is. I think it's it's to show these characters that, like, because, I mean, the line of dialogue is, like, some people move on and not us and yeah. stuff. I mean, that's just to show what's happening. Like, they you kill know, they, Thanos. Yeah, they do kill Thanos. And they're um, like, we can't do anything. Yeah, and then yeah. they're all they're all very defeated. It, the moment that they kill Thanos, too, you can see it in all their faces. Like, yeah, I think it's, Rocket... It's still defeat. Um, yeah, like the Rocket, um, Captain Marvel, everyone is like kind of like crushed yeah. in that moment. And then we get the time jump, which is like, you know, I think um, Rogers is holding a, a uh, Rogers is holding a, uh, you know, a support group, it's I like, guess, ooh. for these people who are like, you know, who are still dealing with well, this. One like, of them being the Russo brothers. Yeah, one of them is, a, Russo is one of the Russo brothers yeah. is actually on there. Good cameo in there. We'll talk about that later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's interesting to think. I mean, it's kind of hard to put yourself in that moment because if half the world is gone, what do you do? Like, wh- who are I like you? I in five years they didn't clean up shit either. <laughs> I know, like, leave the, I leave the trash clean, out. Like, if it was going to be permanent, yeah. I'd be like, let's, all right, we got to clean this shit up now. Guys, we're gonna all the us, boss now. It's going to take us twice as long. Yeah. But we have to do Apparently, it. there's no baseball. They show us a shot of just like, there's no sports yeah. in this post, yeah. uh, like the post Nanos war. Wasn't but big but there are whales in the Hudson River. <laughs> yeah, there is. Right? Yeah. And there's cleaner, there's cleaner water. That's what he yeah. says. Yeah. We talked about this after we stopped recording the spoiler free one, too, is this early. Earth seems kind of like better. better. Off yeah, like with, without us, nature's a little without bit better. Although part of what he did and what, part of what we learned is it's all living creatures. So technically, right. half of animals died too. Right. Yeah. So yeah. it doesn't really help endangered half animals plants. at all. Oh yeah, like there was like I mean, yeah. it was terrible to laugh at. But if there was like two of one animal, yeah. there's just now just one Dunzo. of that. Animal. What if there yeah. was just one animal? Oh, and like half of <laughs> half half of the pigeon, <laughs> yeah. half of the pigeon's butt goes yeah, away. Exactly. And so it's kind of there's a lot. There's it's funny how we. We focus, and I, and I think this is on purpose, again, like, we, we're really focused on the heroes that are gone, and maybe, like, the direct families of the heroes that are gone, and then, ultimately, we don't really care about the rest of the world. The it almost world, seems like right? it, because, like, imagine... Like as regular viewers, like, who the fuck cares? Like, like I want to see superheroes on other continents that aren't in New York. Yeah. Well, imagine, <laughs> like, I mean, because we, um, let me just jump forward here a little bit, like, in the, you Ooh. know, in the, uh... I'm just kidding. Time jump. He created exactly, another yeah. stream of... Um, it was jump so they do bring everybody back. Um, can you imagine how terrifying this is for regular people? Like, uh, what the fuck is going on? Like, yeah. no do joke. Do they just come back where they were? Because what if one guy was at a meat grinder or something? Yeah, exactly. Or like, you know, <laughs> that one person. Was it well, seems well, like was, they 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 appear right where they disappeared. Because you know, years is a long time. Well, and yeah, I, so I, like people got married and like probably yeah, moved they on probably and, had other kids. Yeah. And, you know, and suddenly there's like well, a thousand more ants. And then yeah, exactly. Some people were like, I can't live in this world, and then now they're gone but their family came back you know? oh, no. just like, what imagine that yeah that's yeah. like this is a like, terrible like plot holes 
<laughs> no, it's not, I don't know what no, plot holes. It's just it's very like holes. it's very it's, it's a very, very different odd. Earth. It's yeah. a very different because I it, I think it's probable, but it's 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 not saying that it's not going to be complicated as shit. If it since it did happen, do you think people are just now. pissed off? They're just like, God damn it! Like fuck people the Avengers! Literally, re- just like respawn into their cars that have been there for five years and have growing shit and like spiders and. They're back. Scary. This what about that? What about that? Um, there was a helicopter that people were <laughs> like. sure that crashed into the building. <laughs> so where do they the respawn? They just respawn in the air? The and just like One of the other big things, too, is I'm wondering, and we can talk about this later. I'm just kidding. But seriously, <laughs> we'll talk about it later, is what the future for the MCU is. Because other than a very long mo- period of time, unless they're going to directly pick up like. <laughs> right afterwards. <laughs> people are yeah. grappling with the things that we're talking about. It's going to be. A very complicated world that that we're living in. A totally different planet, really. I like how Earth is basically going to know, like, yeah, um, Yeah. we fought Thanos. We We won. won. Yeah. Well, they kind of know that anyway, don't they? Like, isn't that what? um, What's implied? He mentions come back. Yeah. He mentions Thanos at a support group, like at the beginning, like uh, post Thanos. And then also the same thing goes for Ronin. Like when Ronin's fighting uh, Wolverine's. um, uh, father-in-law there or whatever from oh, yeah, uh, nice. the <laughs> sweet reference uh, so when Ronan's fighting that guy um, he says Thanos too and like you know you get uh, the world got Thanos you get me and so it's like it, I guess the yeah. world knows that like I guess they made some sort of statement like uh, hey we fucked yeah. up and Thanos Can killed everybody turn on your radios please well that's one of the big things with Ronan too is he is his purpose is really going after yeah Ronan no Ronan uh 47. Uh, Ronin, Ronin the, the samurai, the, the camera yeah. gimbal brand. Well, Hawkeye. Uh, Ronin. No, yeah, but Hawkeye. Hurt Locker. Hawkeye Ronin Hurt Locker. He is going after people who didn't disappear but deserve to be gone. Right, exactly. And he's kind of fallen. Like he's he's taken. Yeah. He's not a hero at all, which is why um, during that scene like with Black drugs. Widow. Yeah, well, it's just, it's something that he's, the way he's dealt with it is like being angry, like the way you said. Like, yeah. you know, he goes out on a, on a vendetta against, you know, basically against crime. like crime. Yeah. Um, you know, they say that they, he's, you know, killed a bunch of cartel members at one point. Chopped Brody says up. that. Bad guys. Yeah. And and why then, are people still, sm- why is drugs still illegal in this world too? Because. Who are they selling to? Yeah. Just like, and then <laughs> who cares at this point? Like, do whatever you want. Everyone's dead. Uh, everyone's dead. It's kind of weird. That's what, but your family's going to come back and you're all fucked up on drugs. <laughs> they don't know that they're going to come back. Oh yeah. What if all those people that Hake just killed, like they, they turn to crime. <laughs> Because of the snap? Uh, God damn. Well, let's talk about Ant-Man, because ultimately, Ant-Man is the reason why we even know about actually, time travel. Actually, the, the unsung hero is that rat that left Ant- That's true. Yeah, I thought that was so weird. One like, of the weird things. Disney movie-esque. Yeah. It, well, that's also very in line with Ant-Man, because Ant-Man is like, you know, there's yeah, some know, comedic, like, was, chance right. things yeah. that happen to that motherfucker, so. Crazy. So now that, uh, you know, uh, a rat Marvel is the button. part of Disney, Ratatouille uh, yeah, exactly. is an inside <laughs> brand name. They have the actor from Ratatouille, so, uh, so but yeah, a rat brings him back. But for him, it was five hours. Uh, what do you guys think about him looking for his daughter uh, and his family? That's in pretty that crazy. Memorial? Kind of a wild scene, right? Pretty wild. Um, you can tell he gives two shits about his ex-wife and that other guy. He yeah. really just wanted to go right. for his daughter. Yeah. Sorry, Judy Greer. Right? Um, right? Yeah. I thought that was cool, pretty, cool, cool. pretty heartbreaking. That being said, the daughter when she came out looked like she had aged a lot. I know. More, more than five like, years. Are you sure it hasn't been ten years. <laughs> it's been a while. Because she, she was like what, like eight or something, like when the movie. Yeah, and, and now she's I, like thirty. She looks like she's like eighteen. Like yeah, I'm just she, like that's like a ten year. Paul a ten year gap there. I really like that she was alive. Cool. Yeah. I mean, well, so did so did Ant Man. Well, yeah. because it it because it, 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 it's half of all people. If Hawkeye's family's gone, everyone else's family's gone. Right. It yeah. starts to feel like maybe it was like eighty yeah, percent of. Was all she people. alone? I don't know. That's yeah. one of the things, too, we don't know. If her, we didn't see that, yeah. Because he does have a reason. I mean, he ultimately just wants to do the right thing and bring everyone back, Well, because of hope. Because so. he, he lost... Oh, uh, that's true. He lost hope. He lost, uh, yeah, the, the yeah. Wasp and, and the, the Pym family, basically. She was alone. How did she survive since she was I don't five? think she's I don't alone. Think she, I think her mom was I think her, around. Someone, like, someone survived one, yeah. of those, one of those things. <laughs> I don't know if it's Judy Greer, okay? It Judy was, Greer, open invite. Yeah, it was Judy Greer. We all have phones. I'm just bragging to all the people that don't have phones. Yeah, okay. I was <laughs> like, what's going on? Uh, let us know if it's Judy Greer. Um, but yeah, so Handman is the reason I, th- I feel, because he, he talks about the quantum realm, something that a lot of the Avengers don't even know about, right. it sounds like. And, and the quantum realm is what makes time travel possible. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't have all the details, and, and no one really does. And uh, theoretically, they have all these ideas. Um, and that's why the Iron Man's decision is so important is because he's the one who can 
actually like shepherd this make whole, it possible. yeah make it happen yeah because hulk tries and that really funny scene where he keeps fucking up ant-man yeah yeah it's it's that that is actually really funny because at one point the hulk is like um all for the baby yeah that comes through he's like it's scott he'll grow and he's just like pissed like it's it's pretty funny but it's that good. and that being said they do need tony stark to kind of like you know they need yeah. his uh his knowledge really because P- pim's not around and i think pim would probably have done it i'm assuming i don't but know for him it's his it's a bigger decision for iron man because he doesn't want to lose what, what he, he, what he found yeah like because out of this tragedy basically he found something something more well, and so like he found a family it, just because of captain america he's like fuck you <laughs> from civil war well yeah yeah he holds a lot of like yeah, animosity sure. towards the stuff like he's basically in i told you so mode like at yeah. the beginning of this movie and then he does quit and then basically uh settles a family with with pepper because pepper does survive um, it's a huge thing, though. It is. It, to remember is no one thinks that time travel is possible. I know we even went in thinking of time travel, but yep. the characters don't know about it, so they think that's it. It's like over. And it's important for their characters. Iron Man is defeated. He's like, my whole purpose is gone. What, like, I've got to move on. Right, yeah. And like, I, it's funny because we talk about how they're going to reverse it because like, they have to reverse it. But it's funny to think like these characters don't know that at all. Like In those moments, they have... No idea. Like they just gave up, or it's over. Right. Yeah. And meanwhile, we're in our seats. Like, when are we gonna fucking? When are you gonna go back in time? <laughs> yeah, we're like, we're getting get to the second yeah, come fucking on, let's act. Go, let's go back in time, man. <laughs> Actually, Drew, um, Damn on the pacing, what Drew? What, you said something about like this movie is kind of slow at the beginning, yeah, which is kind of weird. Which yeah, it's um, it's a slow burn for sure. Well, because imagine the first five minutes of Infinity War, where Thanos is clapping the Hulk cheeks like super <laughs> quick. Yeah. And then in this one, you're just like. Oh, okay, we're like Iron Man and Gamora playing football. Yeah, like, you know? Nebula. It's over. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, Nebula. A wrong sister, <laughs> sister, sister. Um, so it is a, a little bit of a change in pace, but I, I, I mean, I understand that you kind of need to say all this stuff, well, first. Like especially gonna, if you're introducing like time travel. You, know, you got to do something. You're obviously going to push the Avengers that are going to like leave it to the forefront. Mm. It, it makes sense, you know. Yeah, and and so once we get the time travel thing going, and Iron Man decides like this is. Well, I just want to say a little bit about Iron Man. The Iron Man, his decision to come back and actually do that is really in line with his arc from yeah. the first movie, really. Yeah. Like, it's just like, because everything's been easier for Iron Man if he just well, focuses on himself, that, whether it be partying or, in this case, whether it, now it's a... that Captain America tells him, right? Like, one of the biggest things that is Captain America tells him, you're never going to be the one to sacrifice. You 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 don't you won't put yourself on the line. Yeah, exactly. And he, yeah. And he consistently does it. He, more, he I, doesn't. Yeah, at all. Uh, but, but, but... But oh, then, wait, you said he does or yeah, he doesn't? Yeah, because at the end of Avengers, he tries to kill himself with a nuke. Like he, that was a good hit arc for him in that just one movie. And then in Iron it's kind of like he's kind of like whining about it though. Like yeah. he's like he doesn't want to do that, and it's, it's very apparent that he doesn't want to yeah. do stuff like that. Even though he does feel like uh, obviously for the sake of arcs and you know character arcs and stuff, he has to. Yeah. Um, well, and, but it does like it's uh, again it it does go. It's in line with his original arc, which is like, you know, basically like, you know, you're partying or now in this case, he's a family. So like, it's easier to do that. And I think even um, Howard Stark says it too. He's like the greater good rarely outweighs my personal mm. interest or something yeah. like that. And that's what's crazy is like, it's a very human decision to be like, hey, like uh, now I'm going to go live my life. Like mm. I've already done this. Like, and I'm going to, I'm going to go live. Yeah. He's you like, know, I tried and I failed. Yeah. It's yeah. me, myself and I are, and now I have a family and like, why would I want to mess that up? And no one could like, you know, ev- every one of us would want you know to stay and not not mess with anything too because we have what, it and that's a heroic choice to say yeah. i i could risk yeah. all this and then like he can't the sleep at night because he knows that he can yeah there's a chance and to then he sees that picture back. of spider-man on his on yeah, a weird, but he, he, <laughs> he has a lot of like little kids like ty simpkins yeah. and spider-man and his real kid now oh don't, <laughs> don't you know what i'm saying <laughs> What are you applying? Uh, no, you, I'm just saying, geez, no, I'm Michael saying like, like, yeah, exactly. This is it. <laughs> um, but what, one of the biggest things that happens uh, is be- because it's still a superhero movie and it's still really heavily plot based is they, I mean, the plot is they have to get the Infinity Stones. It really hasn't changed from the rest of the MCU movies. No, it's kind of flipped. Now basically, they're going to go back in time and get them again. Yeah. So now we now knowing what they know. Mm-hmm. The second act is, um, you know, the first act was basically about uh, about grief, and then the second act is literally a heist, mm-hmm. a time heist, as, time if heist. you if Which you will. They literally say in the movie. it's also an episode of Doctor Who. Time yeah, heist. Yeah, 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 you're right. It is. Yep. So yeah, yeah, they, yeah, 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 yeah. So they go and do this time heist, and partially because you know it's a movie. If you've watched any movie ever before, you know things don't go as planned. Right, exactly. Things have to fuck up. But yeah. this uh, is also a Marvel's. Uh, I feel like a Marvel's greatest hits type of like a oh, yeah, scenario, yeah, yeah. like clip show. They literally basically. go back to moments that 
the, and Finney Stone was around, but also really big moments just in the from MCU. those movies. Yeah, they go go from um, they go to the Avengers, which is um 2012. They Guardians. go to Battle Guardians, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians Volume of the Galaxy, um, Thor: The Dark World, and they go all, all the way back to Infinity War with the uh, Red Skull. Yeah, yeah, yeah they do. Yeah, they, they do. They go back to um, know, they, they, they do That's the really one with... of the most dramatic moments in yeah. Infinity War. It's really funny how um live how the last movie. <laughs> how um two Shield agents, two former Shield agents, don't recognize who the fuck the Red Skull is, but that's yeah. pretty cool. That's <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, you would you would think that they would, they would have... He's in the, the history. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Well, let's go... Uh, well, I don't know who to go first. I guess that big, the biggest thing... The biggest thing they go back to, before they go back even further, is uh, Captain America, um, Hulk, and Iron Man go back and, to Avengers. Yeah, and, and, and they all have Avengers. a team. Oh, Iron Man goes that, back to Avengers. That's really cool is they end up, you know, forming teams. Yeah. So you get, like, duos that you never thought you'd see, like Nebula mm. and War Machine. And but also... Like, this is weird. But also important... Uh, like connections. Well, like, yeah, and then yeah, you get important connections like Hawkeye and Black oh, Widow. Super you know? huge. Oh, we forgot Where, to talk about Thor leading up to this too, because like Thor is pretty oh, essential yeah, in this. Thor. In this uh, one. Yeah. Fat so Thor is dealing with his grief very differently than Hulk is. Um, Hulk apparently accepted it and moved on, and you know he's maybe in a little bit of denial, I'd say. Yeah, Thor is is definitely in denial, and he's like he kind of he drinks his life away. He's kind of stuck at like you know at a certain point. Yeah, he's um. He's Mask very guard. comedic. It's, it's look. He looks like either Mac from that episode of uh, It's Always Sunny, he or looks like Ultimate Thor. Also, Ultimate Thor with a little bit of Lebowski in there, which is an actual preference like the in the movie. For corn right now, and we get Ooh, a, ouch, so, and we get some of our favorite characters from Thor Ragnarok too. You, do, you get Meek Corgan and Corgan, Corgan Meek, Meek, and um, and then you hey, you find out that that Asgard <laughs> became like a fishing village in Norway, which yeah. is like you know it's pretty funny. New Asgard, um, and then Valkyrie. Is also Valkyrie is there, there basically yeah. doing what Thor should do, right? Yeah, and then you have a very comedic scene where, like, you know, they basically jump into Thor's like pad, yeah, Hulk and Rocket, and, they and need, then Hulk and Rocket and they too, need, and, and they need all of them back, and that's the thing that Thor isn't sure he wants to do because he's like, do. yeah, because he because Thor he took it the hardest. He was the guy who actually had Thanos at the very end of the Infinity War, one. yeah, and he had him right there in his palm of his hand, yeah. and he didn't actually like you know basically pull the, the main, trigger. I would say uh, just as Iron Man was to this film, Thor was that for Infinity for War. Infinity War, yeah, uh, because all, it started with Thor and it ended with Thor, really mm-hmm. in Infinity War, and and so he takes a lot of that responsibility. And Thor always thinks he's better than all of the Earthlings because he's a god, right? So he yeah. always thinks. That, like ultimately, this is gonna land on me. Like I'm better than everyone. I'm more powerful than everyone. Um, and I feel like that's Captain something... Marvel will have a word with him. I, I know. Obviously, well, but I think that everyone chopped, feels that he, way. He though. killed Thanos. And, yeah, but he didn't fucking help. And he's like, it doesn't even matter if I kill him. But I feel like everyone feels that way to some degree. I, obviously, Iron Man feels that way. Captain America feels like that. Thor feels like that. And everyone thinks like it was their responsibility. So ultimately, that's why everyone goes. Back. Ant Man doesn't feel like that. Yeah, he's like, I was, I was around. That little Fortnite scene, right? Though, oh, oh, yeah. oh, he, he's back again. That's so funny. Oh, oh, oh. 2023. Feel Fortnite's still around, baby. Wi-Fi. One more thing about Ant Man. Ant Man is literally the butt of every joke in like yeah. this movie when Which it comes to something. His tacos. The tacos. Oh, oh, and yeah. The ta- like, and then Hulk gives him other tacos. Yeah. Nebula calls Hulk him. He's so drink. nice. Hulk is so nice with Fat Thor too. He's like, come on, buddy. Like, I like it when he's like Hulk is actually taking a selfie with the kids. He's yeah. like, hey, Mr. Hulk. And he's like, yeah, all right. You, you guys want a picture? Damn. Hey, little person, you know, just like, or angry girl. Like, he's trying to talk like angry the way Hulk girl. does. Hulk is, Hulk is so far from where he was and from the beginning. It's really funny. So yeah, yeah it's, so, it's so fun to see. Um, but yeah, let's talk about where they go into this, in the quantum realm. So they split up into teams. Boom. They address one of the biggest things, which is most of these Infinity Stones are in New York. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah they, they try to go moment. to the points in time where... Infinity Stones were all together at once. Where they so save some time. Yeah, yeah. obviously, it, they're also going to the points where the audience saw where these Infinity Stones are. So, yeah. aka other movies. That's how we get this clip show of sorts. Yeah, exactly. Marvel jacking themselves in front of us. Let's go to the one of the very first one. Oh, let's just go to one of the easiest ones to explain. I the think New York. Should, no, I think we should save New York because there's another jump that happens in New York. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you're well, right. Let's go with uh, uh, Nebula first with War Machine. So it's Nebula, War Machine, and then Hawkeye and Black Widow that mm. go back to Guard. Guardians one two thousand so thirteen, right? Fourteen. 14. So they, they go to two different points in two thousand fourteen. One um one team, uh Romanoff and, and Barton go, go off to, to uh, uh Vormir. Yeah. yeah, uh yeah, exactly. The, for the Soul Stone. Um Jim, is it the Red School? And there's some like you know, there's some dramatic irony there because the audience knows that something has to happen for that yeah. fucking soul stone, but we'll Does get it, to that eventually. Yeah, but well let's let's stick with Nebula first because yeah. I feel like that's a yeah, we, we, we Nebula see, and War Machine go to Morag, Peter yeah. Quill. Yeah. And Peter Quill's scene is really funny and they make fun of the 
the dancing thing because there's like without the headphones it yeah. just looks it's just, just funny because he's just yeah just um nebula loses her arm uh which happens in every single mc movie <laughs> so did thanos i guess too thanos lost his arm before oh, yeah, he lost and this his one, head. yeah so but nebula's the one to do it in this one when she shoves her hand inside of that and this is like where thing. you start giving a you start getting a hint that shit is not going to go as planned because R- really important to just overall the the plot of the movie right thanos you're getting into some paradox some paradox yeah. shit where like you know where cuz nebula is in you know she's cybernetic so like apparently she has a network the cloud. that is shared yeah yeah, yeah apparently That's like, why you don't put things on the cloud yeah, yeah. the the thanos cloud she basically has with 113.1 so this is what happens with me with my contact synced with everything that i have yeah. uh, turned on that's basically what happens that's what happened to her yeah. like all of her contacts i start watching porn in the living room and it's, it's playing, playing on the, the TV. bedroom <laughs> it's playing on my mom's ipad <laughs> how do i turn that off that's what happened to nebula really yeah, yeah. seriously like thanos is like looking in her mind yeah, looking so at thanos her memory is, thanos is obviously with uh gamora and nebula from you know before they Angry. turned their leaf still bad yeah yeah uh the new leaf October, and who uh, in redcon too because thanos does not look like the way he does in guardians oh, i thought yeah. i thought he was going to come out like full yeah. on like Different you know timeline Full on little, um, you know, wings on yeah. his shoulders and stuff like that, and it's but, pretty funny. Yeah. So, and then uh, Nebula just I don't know where starts to have a seizure and like projects, you know, the other Nebula's uh, memories. Yeah. Memories I say it's really important and, because it's it's how Thanos is they, knows and everything. Is, you know what's really cool is that we talked about Thanos about uh, like him in Infinity War being like that person where like he has like multi layered. Yeah, he's multi-layered, yeah, he's yeah. multi-layered, and he has a purpose for what he's doing, and then he sees Relatable. this like. He kind of looking through Nebula, and he's like, "You know what? Fuck that! Like, yeah. I'm just gonna go beat the fuck out of him. You know, I, sh- I just, I just it, want the, I just want to kill him, and then make yeah. a timeline where they're not, they don't exist. He it, turns into a much more very typical he turns Marvel into the villain, Mad Titan, and it really does because he ultimately understands too. I say ultimately, but he understands ultimately, ultimately, literally, ultimately, 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 literally, ultimately, literally, ultimately, literally, ultimately, literally, ultimately, 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 he ultimately, no, I'm just kidding, but he understands <laughs> that he succeeded and it still didn't matter. Right. And yeah. so this is important for his character. I mean, I don't really consider him even the Thanos that we saw. It, right, like right. New, yeah. angry, this angry is a different. Thanos. It's yeah. like Biff and old Biff. Oh, or yeah, like yeah. Old Rich Biff. Biff. Oh, yeah, old, old Biff is done. Yeah. Right. It, it does like it, it signifies a change in, in his goal, really. Like it's he's not just going to wipe out half the universe. Yeah. He's literally going to destroy it and yeah, remake it another one. Yeah. So his his. His mindset is totally different. And He's like, hey, let's get the stones before they do. <laughs> and I, I like that uh, Nebula just had to switch one of her, uh, like... Her panels. Her panels. But yeah, so Nebula gets captured and they switch... Like, Nebula switches and, yeah. and it's the a other huge Nebula. part for yeah. later on. Thanos ne- puts in the evil Nebula. Yeah, evil Nebula goes back with, with uh, the... The Avengers. But yeah, and they yeah. somehow shrink that fucking ship with just one pin particle like vial yeah, too, which yeah, is really it, funny. It is weird. Well, let's now go to the same time period, but over down to where the Soul Stone Vormir, is. Vormir, yeah. So um, you have... This, uh, yeah. you, who, Clint Barton, I thought Nebula, daughter of... I, I thought kidding, Nebula I knew that Gamora <laughs> had to be sacrificed. Or that Gamora was sacrificed. I think she she did she not tell. I think it didn't come across. It didn't come very clear it, off. Like because he does say he does say no. It's not a plot hole. She says it pretty much. Yeah. Um. That being said, I don't think they pay attention, or she didn't explain herself well enough. Maybe she wasn't sure that that she it. just knows that something yeah. has to happen. Maybe she wasn't sure, and I feel like maybe that's what it is. Is she wasn't sure that. Gomorrah had to die to get the soul stone. She just knows Gomorrah died there. Died Does that there. Make sense? Yeah. Like, because if honestly, like, maybe if, they got the soul like, stone and then you, he killed her. Like, let's say you take John to, uh, Board you know, me. Whataburger, and you come back without Andrew, but you had some fries. I would automatically think, oh, you had to kill Andrew to get the fries. <laughs> I would just be like, oh, you killed Andrew. Like, yeah, you know, that's the likeliest. The like, yeah, exactly. That's what that's yeah. what happens. But you know, I don't. I didn't know that whatever changed their prices <laughs> to that. <laughs> uh, so I guess maybe that's yeah. what it is. Like uh, Nebula's like something happened, but you know, yeah, who the fuck knows? Yeah, exactly. I, was I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, I was like, why didn't Hawkeye just throw off his bow? <laughs> oh, I love this. Just, I love my bow. Yeah, but they have no. to make that ultimate sacrifice, which is you have to. What is it? You have to sacrifice. It? You have to a lose sacrifice some, soul. Some, someone soul you love. Soul. Yeah, really. So like they, Throw if they a did a Turner album down there, yeah, which exactly. would have been really funny if it was two oh. random Avengers, because they probably would have been like, "Well, we're fucked. I don't even know who you I are. I, I, I fucking yeah. hate you." <laughs> they could have just turned on the Red Skull and be like, "Hey, I love you," and then start, try to push him off or something like. <laughs> yeah. Suck off the Red Skull, <laughs> <laughs> and, then and then throw him off the. Yeah. Um. Ooh, Red Skull. 
Uh, growth. What? <laughs> I th- uh, growth. So wait, this, I really, and it's kind of morbid, but I really like the scene where they're both literally fighting, fighting to I die, say, fighting to die. Like it's such a cool concept. It's like because no, they're me. running towards me. the edge. They're so they're so hard. I mean, they're yeah. very stubborn. They're both stubborn. of them. Like, yeah. Could you imagine if like Hawkeye's arrow would have hit and then she just blew up <laughs> and she just died? Oh fuck. <laughs> well, and and they they both think it's on them too, which is really interesting. Um, Hawkeye or like, Ronan, my, my family's gone. Yeah, what? what and then Ronan, and look what I've done. Ronan, yeah, Ronan's like, I did all this. I need to pay for it. And then you know, Scarlett then, Johansson's like, this is like, like without this, this I'm is what nothing. I was born to do. Yeah, yeah th- I need to bring them back. And it's still a really whatever it takes. It's still heartbreaking. It's really it's, impactful. Yeah, because it is. Partially, and I was telling you guys over text, and then you sent me a weird gift. But yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Black Widow. The more I think about it, the more Black Widow is in. I'm not going to say what the gift was. No, I mean, but the no, more it's integral, digging that hole right there. The, most, it, the more integral I feel like she was to just the Avengers overall because she has this. And if we think of the Avengers, the OG Avengers, as being ult, like ultimately fuck, but but being really Tony Stark, Iron Man, and Captain America, she has a good history with both of them, and she's she can, she's able to tread. The middle line, trying to get them to see each other's side, mm-hmm. even changing sides in Civil changing War. Changing sides, she's on both sides. She has a whole movie with uh, the Iron Man master. and a whole oh. movie with, with Cap, Captain America, and the Winter Soldier. Yeah. And so you would start to think, like, man, she's really man, somewhat holding they together need to put the her Avengers. Thor. Yeah, her and oh. Thor together. Why does that? Matter? Her and Hulk were already together. Hide the zucchini. <laughs> so, oh, geez, that's a big as zucchini. But yeah, I was like, the more I think Iron about Man. it, I'm like, Black Pan- Widow is a, is a super big loss. And it, it definitely is, um, just in general. Oh, because too. she dies. Sorry, guys. She but dies. also, yeah. it, that surprised the shit out of me. I had no idea it, that surprised. Black Widow would have been one of the casualties because she has a movie coming out. Yeah, well, and it so you're kind of like, the what shit the? Out of me, but also, like, if you if you've seen Infinity War, then it's not a surprise. <laughs> you're just like the girl dies. Cool, uh, cool, cool, cool. Well, I mean, you're you're making. I mean, I don't know well, about someone that. Someone was gonna die. Someone was yeah. gonna die. That's the yeah. thing. I was like, I didn't know if it was gonna be Hawkeye. I actually thought it, for, for a second it was gonna be Hawkeye. And I was like, oh, it this makes sense. Cool that they this, both went off the cliff and then she caught the, them. This is the fucking second time they've had Hawkeye in a moment where you're like, Almost he's gonna die. Because <laughs> in Age of Ultron, Quick you're silver. like, oh, he's gonna die. Like he's. He's being set up to die, and again here he's being set up to fucking die. He's like Rory yeah. from Doctor Who. He's like, when don't I? Fuck? <laughs> like he's like, I'm just. It's just gonna happen. Well, the the Black Panther moment, and I was talking about that vision. Um, that uh, Tony Stark had earlier, uh, they even went as careful as to duplicate her position from that vision to be the way she's dead in, in Endgame. Yeah. So that mm-hmm. her, his, his vision came true. Uh, but yeah, that was maybe one of the first heartbreaking moments of Endgame because it was a really big, really big thing to see Black Widow because she's been around just as long as most of them Iron actually. Man. I think she's like she was one of the she's probably the, the Iron Man two came out. Right after the Iron newest, Man. Of, yeah, yeah, she's basically the second oldest Avenger, like cinematically, yeah. because like she, yeah, she was um Iron Man, she was an Iron Man too, um, yeah. So it's a big character, it's a big loss, great, yeah, like um heartbreaking loss too. The, the way the scene is set up, it's yeah. just it's also it's very heartbreaking. Um, you do feel for it. Yeah. It does it does leave an impact more for me than Gamora. I'd have to say, I yeah, know that's definitely, but yeah. yeah, more for me for for than Gamora in the first one um what and we're going to talk about the black widow movie separately later on as we go through all the characters that that live or, or die but yeah Alta, uh, but he gets the soul stone hawkeye gets the soul stone well, let's talk about the really big time jump here the one that we've seen rumored everywhere we see location pictures we saw we see it all um and it's one of the longer time jump pieces with captain america Basically, everyone going to the old Avengers film with right. Loki. Oh, wait, wait, before let's go to the Thor one, which is like a little bit like oh, less yeah, complicated than that, that one. one. Yeah. So we so, have Rocket yes. and Thor who uh, head over to Asgard. Um, I thought we'd never see Asgard ever again. Twenty thirteen. Here we are. Hell, I, th- I thought we'd never see the door- the Dark World ever again. <laughs> and, and here it's a really big important part. Yeah, of exactly. The we, only thing we need now is to go back to the Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. Like, <laughs> and, then, and then we'll have Mark Ruffalo be like <laughs> flabbergasted that he we, looks like Ed Norton. We do see the Colonel. Or we see we do see someone from incredible yeah yeah from general ross but um, um but yeah and in asgard it's it is somewhat <laughs> emotional i feel like the only thing that takes away from the super dramatic part of the asgard is how funny thor is yeah and how funny rocket is but uh it's important and we should talk about this maybe now is, is you they really can't change too much of the past that's like one of the things even though we know all of them change everything from the past right yeah but in asgard they're told not to but in asgard the temptation is it's the day that thor's mom dies dies, yeah. dies. And, and he got to say bye to odin but he didn't get to say bye to mom yeah but he does kind of 
now. Like, he gets that chance. It's a closure. Now. Yeah, it's a closure. And he does. Not to mention that he's drunk too. Yeah, and uh, one, and then of course, like Rocket has to do everything, which is uh, like extract the Infinity Stone from, from a very from, from, from a cameo uh, from a Natalie Portman yeah. cameo. It seems like because like she, like, she was at the the premiere. I'm pretty sure was probably, she, it was probably uh, you think so? Deleted footage. No, I think it was film. actually a she film. Yeah, I think she filmed it too. She wouldn't have been there. And They're she like, actually film it yourself. Well, she took an interview. Af- yeah. She took an interview afterwards too. Like yeah. she normally, if she was on bad terms with Marvel, she wouldn't have been there. A but hey, re- really big, really big. Jane uh, Foster Thor question mark ooh, question mark because they talk they talk about that too in early on. But yeah, so Jane Foster her character disappears. Pretty quickly from the MCU, and so it's really exciting to see her to back. see her again, even if it is just literally her just waking up from a bed and just like oh, walking really away. Really great acting, That's, Oscar winning. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like Natalie Portman, Black Oscar winning. Uh, I can yeah, see so, why how that how that's very. Um, I can see as as a, from an actor's point of view, like. How that's really like you would just say yes to that. Like we're gonna pay you a lot of money if you just show up and yeah. just like do this. And they're yeah. like, oh yeah, why not? Yeah, give me ten percent of the gross. I'm yeah, exactly. Uh, but 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 Thor does get to have that moment with his mom, who kind of understands some of what's going on because she's a witch because she already understands that that's not the Thor from the timeline that she's in. Right. Which is really interesting to me. Yeah, um, she instantly knows it. I mean, not just because of the fat, you know, probably because maybe because you know he's fat and his he looks very different. Like, yeah, that makes. I, I thought they were gonna change it too. Didn't work. Well, it was pretty. Um, it is a very uh, crazy moment because again, you didn't Sad. get a whole lot of yeah. Frigga even in the Thor movies, and I felt like this is something that they felt like they needed to, um, which is really funny because you know they bring Frigga to the forefront, not really um, Jane Foster, who was also done a. Her character wasn't the best, like yeah. the in- interpretation well, I mean, back in the day. I guess day he too. picked his mom over her. Yeah, you know, to be like, Who and that makes sense too. To right but now? like, also because yeah, he never got like an actual. And out of Thor: The Dark World, I mean, the, the movie has its moments, but one of the most powerful moments is the death of yeah, Frigga. Definitely. Yeah, and when also Natalie Portman's probably snapped or unsnapped, and he can fix that later. I kind of have this weird um, recollection of these moments because we're about to come to one of these other moments. But remember in Black Panther where he goes into the Black Panther uh, when he dies and goes to that no, the astral that, plane that, the astral or something, plane, yeah. and he gets to talk to his dad. Like we get some of those moments here because they actually are traveling uh, back in time. But now we can talk to you about, about New York, right? Um, yeah. And the two stones in New York, the Tesseract, and then Loki's Sepitar. Three of them. The it's mind, a, the Mind the Stone one? and the Time Stone. Oh, that's true. The Time the Stone. Mind, time. Well, and let's talk about the Time Stone first. We get this really cool thing where the Ancient One punches the Hulk. The Hulk. Yeah, the Hulk get, is charged to go. You get also the, the Time Stone. We get to see she, Mark Ruffalo in his only actual she's acting. She's defending the Sanctum Sanctorum from, from yeah, Chitauri. From Chitauri. It's, it's yeah. pretty sick. It's a it's pretty cool moment. And it's fucking amazing. Yeah. She's, she's shooting down Chitauri. So, like, you know, if there was Chitauri just blowing up at random, like, near that. I like how she didn't help. Like, she was there. She probably could have. Fuck that. Well, part of her thing is, like, she can't, like, things have to happen the way they have to happen yeah she knows it's, it's apparently. so cool because yeah he she knows like instantly like i'm looking for dr strange yeah. and he's like oh you're five Not years yet. too late yeah like too it's, early it's really cool too that the thing that has her give up the time stone is the thing that dr strange says and she he's she's like well she he's knows suppo- instantly she's, he's supposed to be the best so yeah he's the best sorcerer i mean he's the the sorcerer supreme she from also like the comics explains so. a lot of the time travel aspect of the film yeah which still kind of falls apart i mean we'll talk about it at the very end and i, well, I feel like it falls apart i'm not stones sure and then put the stones back yeah. right after you took the i don't understand that putting stones back thing i mean we'll talk about it again well, it's time travel bit. like you, it's, it's like a second right after yeah. you took the stone so you just put it so, like, back right after no know, yeah. yeah right after they left like captain america probably popped up in another portal <sighs> yeah, like immediately it's, it's and just like, like, like gave him the back the marty thing where it's like oh fuck i just saw you well she basically explains that at, uh, and no fuck we're gonna get in big trouble with neil degrasse tyson but uh when we when you change something, it doesn't affect the 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 ongoing plane. You just have created a new a new reality. So you're yeah. just creating all these different branches from new timelines. The, yeah. the timeline. That's why, as they're doing things in the past, it's not affecting the future. The, the right. place they're actually yeah. going back to until um, it's just affecting the future of the thing yeah. they just made. Um, so it's kind of insane, it's sort of fucking crazy. Uh, but until you realign everything. Yeah, through and, the Infinity Stones, which that is make sense? Uh, sort of. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Yeah, I'm uh, having seen it twice. I'm still trying to grapple with that, that. <laughs> and also just not think about it because it does fall apart when you really do think, especially because of this one part at the very end that yeah. that happens. Unless, um, unless he kept. I mean, because. We'll talk about it later, but maybe he kept the time thingy. I guess we don't see we'll it. That's later. the thing. Yeah, see, yeah. like we, we we're talking about it now. We're just like, wait, but but know. but now anyway, he has but, infinite amount but, he, of but they get oh, the time stone. Yeah, they exactly. get the time yeah. stone, but it's harder to get the other stones because of Hydra. <laughs> really, right? Yeah, uh, then, and we don't know this is happening. In and Avengers. they're surra- they're surrounded like the other stones are surrounded by their past selves. Yeah, so that's like there's you have to be a little bit more. We um, get an interesting Captain America fight. 
where he's like, I can do this all day. Yeah, because he doesn't remember. The uh, cap from Avengers thinks that the future cap is Loki. So he's like, hey, I found Loki. That's so funny. Um, we, we I like also, how this cap thinks he can you, fight Loki. Because like, the that's one. so funny. And just, that's so funny, Andrew. You're so funny. Oh my fuck, god. Fuck, are you, fuck, are you fuck, going fuck, to the prom oh, yeah, with anyone? There's, there's an America's ass joke there, like with the Ant Man. America's stuff like that. ass. Is that a? I heard that was an internet thing. America's ass. Yeah, maybe. Google it. Google ass right now. Oh, it could have been. Let's see, let's see what's Google up there. ass. <laughs> um, uh, well, well, they are able to secure one of the stones, but Google it's a lot. Glass. It's a lot harder to secure the one that Loki. That Loki has steals because we also get that cool cameo with um, Robert Redford, Oscar winner. Oh yeah, Robert yeah, we get that, and yeah, then we get Adrian the Adrian Peters. We get almost like a callback to the 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 elevator, the elevator scene from Winter Soldier. Which I which has, love. Does anybody want to get on? Do you guys like those Cause callbacks? I'm about to get you you guys, I remember we did our Revenge of the Sequel, the Jurassic World one. You guys weren't into it, but I love those things. Um, this I don't know. I I I, I, I hate seeing it again. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. Like, the first time I thought it was really awesome. Jerking yeah. themselves. It's, um, bit. see, I don't mind. Oh, yeah. I don't I mind. I love to watch them jerk. I don't want, I don't mind small ones. Like, you know, um, like, uh, the ancient one doing the Doctor Strange, like, astro plane to the, uh, to the Hulk. That one's cool. Seeing the actual, like, the same frame for frame, like, the way the frames are set up, like, in the, in the elevator one. Yeah. Like, again, that's, that's, that's all right. But I, I'm, I'm so, I love the fact that it didn't, turn out like the like oh, he exactly didn't fight like, them all. yeah well, so like that's awesome that's what's cool is that i think this is the very first time where um you really start to see that they're referencing a lot of the newer material that just came out like yeah. within like two years two three years they start to reference that because he, he uh, you know cap the, the way he gets the the tesseract away from the uh the the hydra agents basically you know the mind R- rumlo you get crossbones in there and you get the kgbs from bvs you get um sit well agent yeah Sitwell, agent sit well um so he's surrounded by all these high level that you know we know that are hydra agents and um he kind of leans over and says hail hydra and which is like, which oh, is he a, knows yeah which is, storyline yeah, yeah secret in empire when, when cap was a hydra cap and everyone fucking flipped, oh yeah like, yeah last exactly year, that is a, yeah a part of me thinks that well this may be too much and of course we're never going to get it well, and, because, but but part of me was like uh, uh, like what if they had created an evil Captain America yeah, and they're like, yeah. oh, this is him? Well, and now, but they're not going to. Well, and Disney Plus has the what if thing. Uh-oh. So now any, Disney the, Plus. The, um, but uh, anyway, well, uh, though there's another one well, of uh, these uh, newer references too when they start talking about time travel and they're like, why don't we go back and kill baby Thanos? And um, I thought that was like a, a War Hitler thing. A war machine says it, and oh. but that's Cosmic Ghost Rider. Cosmic Ghost Rider goes back to kill Thanos, to kill Thanos and Thanos, instead yeah. he's like. Huh. Um, I'm just gonna raise him to be better. Oh. And he takes him. He takes baby well, that, Thanos. That's a really him. important thing, is because they. One of the biggest things is uh, Thanos says he's inevitable, no matter what. This is something like this is gonna. It's gonna happen. happen I, yeah. I happen. I happen, bro. Yeah, that's like um, the exact line. I happen. But I Snap. thought I thought that was like if you can go back at any point in time, who would you kill? And people were like Hitler. Like, yeah, that, that's, that's that's a reference to that. Yeah, doing. basically. I thought it was a Hitler reference. Uh, cosmic <laughs> Ghost Rider, Frank Castle. Uh, Thanos but, is the cosmic Hitler, technically. So, oh god damn it! But Ant Ant Man, Ant Man Hitler was the cosmic Hitler. Ant Man, Ant Ant Man hurts. Um, uh, uh, what? Oh, sorry, Ant Man hurts old Tony Stark, <laughs> um, meaning that Loki can get the. The Tesseract and he disappears. Oh yeah, and so I, I Loki that disappears. This could be like some Disney Plus. That could thing be the too. Loki show because Loki does Loki have his show. own show. Yeah. Wait, so does Cap go after the Mind Stone or the Tesseract? He goes after the Mind Stone. Oh, okay, my bad. I said the. I said yeah, it. no, that's why I corrected you oh, on, cool, cool, cool. on the thing. <laughs> so turn his mic lower. So basically, they 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 screwed up because they. Uh, the Tesseract is gone, and, and this is what spurs them having to go further. Yeah, and it's the Hulk that fucks it up, too. Remember? The Hulk fall, like runs out of the thing. He's like, no more Old stairs, Hulk, and yeah. then boom. And then just, he knocks down Tony Stark. And- I love the fact that like they just fucked up a timeline, and they're they're just like, well, we lost a stone. Yeah. And that's that, that's their... Like, their their um their outrage yeah because well, not that like that the vision may not ever be like you know made or ever, um yeah. or that like you know the avengers literally just failed in stopping loki like right there it's it's literally um we just lost uh, a stone for well, our reality also that's also you know loki escapes with the test wreck disney plus yeah that's well, where his show happens. I'm, I'm also it, what's really cool about the interaction between stark and and uh captain america too is they almost barely i don't know if you remember this in front of ant-man devise a plan without even saying what the plan is like i'm thinking of a thing and like oh yeah you know like do you, do you remember that when they decide to go back further in time and ant-man's like i don't know what are you guys talking about oh yeah it's um, very um it was very subtle i i caught that my second time around because they're talking about pim particles really yeah, yeah. 
And they had, um, they're like, oh, was there a pen particle? Like, well, that's what they said. They're like, there's um, there's there's one area of time where I know both of them are there. Like, yeah. you know, so it's the tesseract uh, and pen uh, particles, and it's the that base that um Artem Zola. Yeah, that Arnim Zola was in, in the, see the Winter, Sol- Winter Soldier. And then, in, in an after credit scene, don't we? Right? Don't we see that base in an after credit scene? And I think that, we do. Which is one? that the one that the, they go back to in the Winter Soldier? Right? Yeah, that's, that's the, this yeah. one where, where, where Arnim Zola is like a yeah. computer Remember? in the Winter Soldier. Yeah. It's that, that's that's that, where, that, that little military base. But it's in modern setting, so it's abandoned. So yeah, so they go back there. Um, you that's get your Stanley cameo there too. Yeah, you get your Stanley the cameo, his last one. Um, you know, In his heyday in the 60s, right? 70s. 70s? Yeah, so it's pretty... We we get a really uh, and this was the part that you get I a was, Hank Pym cameo. This cameo. Is, yeah, uh, de-aged. And, uh, and th- Haley Atwell as Peggy Carter well, and Jarvis. I thought that I thought that this was where Captain we'll, we'll America was, was going to stay when he when Captain America sees Peggy through the blinds. I thought creeping oh, he's, he's, like he's, like he's a not gym. going back. Yeah, yeah, I was like he's 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 Dunzo Bunzo. Peggy who? Peggy Hill. Peggy yeah. Carter. <laughs> Did you say Peggy Hill? Did I say Peggy Hill? No. Oh, Bobby? Oh, okay. <laughs> Bo- Bobby? Uh, God damn it, Bobby. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I am Peggy Hill. I am Peggy Carter. That's my <laughs> man. That's my purse. I don't know you, fucking <laughs> saying. This is King of the Hill. Um, f- well, one of the... Countdown yeah, to the Hill. Because bum, bum, part, bum, of me bum, thought, bum, part of me thought that Captain America was going to end up with Peggy, but I thought that this was the moment that it was going to happen. And after he doesn't stay, I was like, oh, maybe he dies. <laughs> Or yeah, you know. Yeah, and you get um on the opposite side of that, you have um Tony Stark finally, I guess, getting closure with like this his daddy issues, mm. really. Like so talking it's, to um, his dad, saying goodbye to his dad. Yeah, saying goodbye to his dad. From his, and one of the biggest things for me that I took away from that was his dad wasn't around for a lot of his a lot of his uh, life, mm-hmm. and when he told like I, I I equated that to him thinking about his daughter not. And and him not being around for the rest of her life. That's why when Gwyneth Paltrow tells him like we're gonna be okay, he understood that was because he was able to tell his dad like, hey, everything's fine. Like, I was fine because you did that. You weren't around, but you taught me everything I needed to know. Right. So that acceptance there really pays through because he ultimately, I said it again, does the same thing. Like he's not gonna be around for his. Yeah, and it's 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 very sad too because you can totally tell. Like I feel like there's this sense of. Of dread building in Tony because he knows that's kind of going to happen. Well, like it's it's so sad. Also, I think it's partially because he gets to see like the genuine love that his father had for him because of how because it's it's his excitement of like like man I, he's like giddy to have a kid have almost a child, like you yeah. know because well, apparently they clash though because in Civil War when he does that barf um, simulator thing um in yeah. Civil War like apparently they were at odds like all the time like yeah. you know he was like yeah. you know his dad didn't like him and or at least it seemed like he didn't like him yeah. basically but we also I mean. I don't know. It's almost like a repeat of the same scene from yeah. Iron Man Two, where Iron Man, where where uh, Howard Stark literally gets drunk and is talking to a camera, saying like, "You know, my greatest creation is you," and well, stuff like that. It sets up this really interesting thing where we don't know who. And, and when we talked about early on, and even in the spoiler-free review about wrapping up all these storylines, because Thor got to say goodbye to his mom, because Iron Man gets to t- say goodbye to his dad. Um, because Captain America gets to see Peggy, right? Because we, Hulk gets to, to see Betty. Yeah. Oh wait, nope, my bad. <laughs> you start Sorry, to Hulk. you start to feel like you know, like this is something's ending, building yeah. up. It's here. building to something. Whether yeah. it's Thor, and I legitimately thought it was Thor or Captain America. That's why the ending was. I was like, fuck, what the? Well, that's why Black shit? Widow was like so crazy, right? Black like Widow Black so Widow is so too. surprising. R.I.P. Yeah. Black Widow. R.I.P. Because she does say early on, like, this is all the family I have without the. Ugh. And just like in general, we were wrong on that family. because Black Widow does have a fucking movie coming out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cool. like it's pretty prequel. crazy. Like, I guess Mark? a prequel. We're talking about yeah. that, of course. Or, yeah. yeah. Uh, but they do. They they end up back and they build a. And oh, sorry. Do you want to talk about Jarvis? What Jarvis? Oh, yes, yes, exactly. Um, the the only time where Marvel connects their TV shows to the movies ever. And I feel like it's kind of cheating because Agent Carter was the only show, the only MCU or the only MCU show. All of them were canceled. canceled? Yeah. No, not yet. No, she was not. But it will be. (laughs) Sorry, (laughs) sorry, Agents of (laughs) Shield fans. You will. Um, it's the only show. Agent Carter was the only one produced by Feige. All the other ones were produced by Jeff Loeb, who is the head of the Marvel um, TV division. Oh, wow. By Evia Red. <laughs> no, no, no. Not oh, no. God damn. Oh, no. <laughs> Brian Singer. <laughs> um, uh, Canceled. C- holy shit. Um, yeah, that's it, to me, that was very significant. Like, I remember when, when they showed him, like, I think me and Drew were like, holy shit, like, that's Jarvis. Pretty that's crazy. fucking, it's uh, Edwin Jarvis, who yeah. in the comics, um, in the movies. What the vision is based off of. Yeah, so in, in the movies, 
you have uh, Jarvis, like the you know, AI. like you know, yeah, the AI Jarvis. But in the comics, Jarvis is a butler for the Avengers. He's kind of like Alfred. He's getting buttled. Um, sure. Um, he's um, he's kind of like an Alfred Can for I the Avengers. Can I you, sir? His name is Edwin Jarvis, and that's the original Jarvis. That's what basically, like, that's the, the, the Jarvis character. Of, yeah. yeah, based off of that that guy, basically. So it's pretty cool. Eventually, I, the AI looks like Paul Bettany, but you know, yeah. whatever. The Vision. Well, so then they go back, and and they they have a they built their own gauntlet. Iron Man has built. Something that can harness right, all they don't the need, power. They, they don't need no do. dwarf for that no. shit. They just need... Fuck, Tyrion. Oof. I'm sorry, Tough. Lannister. No, tough I mean, just talking about the actual, like, the, the fucking Asgardian <laughs> dwarfs that are, like... John's digging another Hi hole. Hi-ho! <laughs> Hi-ho! Yeah. Hi-ho! Hi-ho! There we go. <laughs> you can really tell, like, I'm just going to pause and just say, like, you can really tell we're really excited to talk about this movie. We keep, like, talking over each other and just, like, shut up, 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 and uh, and the only person strong enough, oh, quote unquote, Thor wants to do it, but they're like, "You're too drunk. Like you're gonna snap back. Like you're, you're not. You're gonna straight. destroy half again. Yeah. Half yeah. of the half. You're gonna destroy half of all beer or yeah, something yeah. like whatever's on your head. But Hulk um, is strong. Hulk strong. I love that this gauntlet is not Thanos size. It's a one size fit all. Apparently, it changes, like, it's, just, it's right? hilarious. And also, it makes the gauntlet completely obsolete. Like that's what um, I just said. I was like, well, they don't need no like Asgardian dwarf you need to do it. Science. Yeah. There's even a co- there's a conversation about this. Remember, like, can science explain that? Who who has that conversation? Um, the the ancient one and, and Banner. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then so having the gauntlet is like, yeah, science can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, science can. Um, but meanwhile, Gamor- uh, Nebula. Is up to her old dirty yeah, tricks. Yeah, fucking evil Nebula from evil the past. Evil Nebula. Well, good Nebula is being tortured uh, before this. Man, there's a lot to talk about this fucking movie. Yeah, there's ah. um, Nebula because we just missed that too. Nebula is being while everyone else has got the stone successfully. Um, Hawkeye maybe oh, successfully is a, is a weird word for that one. Yeah, but um, but. Um, Nebula is being tortured. Um, she's beamed ab- aboard uh, Thanos' ship and is being tortured for information on like what the fuck is going on. And Thanos eventually does realize that all this stuff is from the future. And Thanos, um, this is where Thanos is like, "Well, I'm going to, you know, you know, get the stones much quicker now, and then you know, do my, you know, deed, I guess, again in the future because he, he decides to go to the actual. Well, he definitely needs the, the infinity stones. Stones, and, yeah. and he knows they're all g- going. And so he almost lets them collect them all. So yeah. That, like, oh, okay, cool. I'll, like, do I'll, that. I'll get them from you. I'll just go get you. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And so we we know that he's sending. He he's somehow going to bring back everyone. And this is where you guys talk about the Pym article and kind of shrinks them down and oh the, the ship a, right a billion other people the ship yeah exactly uh, yeah. but so Hulk does the snap which is a really big moment too because they they originally deal with uh, the death of Romanov. Over by the leg, and like we can just undo it, really. We can we can fix it all, and and peop- and they have to explain to, to each other, and also the audience, like no, no that, that was a yeah, that that's a, it. That was those a little are, permanent yeah, death there. Those are deaths, yeah. Because as, as an audience member, you'd be like, oh yeah, it's fine, it's temporary. That's true. So like Vision, Gamora, and which is like, really weird though, because I mean Black Widow. I think the Soul Stone in the books does have the power to literally bring bring back death, yeah. like anybody that's, from the dead. That's what I was wondering is if you bring back the person that. The soul that you gave for the soul stone does that soul stone not not work, work anymore? anymore. At least not, in the MCU, I yeah. think that's why. I think that's why. Yeah. Like, I think that's that that and that's it's, that's a good little trade off there because like it makes like you the know, one person you can't bring back. You hear that, Russo brothers? Trade Emmanuel just <laughs> solved your problem. There you go. Uh, but so so and then Hulk does it. He does a snap, which does is really snap. funny because apparently yeah. now we're we're learning that the snap. You you it, have to learn. It's like a you have to know how to form snap. Of yeah. communication. So <laughs> yeah, like exactly. you go throughout the other side of the universe, and everyone knows everyone's the bandit snap. Yeah, the bandit snap. What if you could get make another gauntlet and clap? With two well, that's what, it was like make really funny. Clap. <laughs> Didn't you make a joke like on like one of these podcasts? Like, well, John, because I can't snap because I yeah no, oh, you John, John would be it. fucked because yeah. yeah he doesn't know how to snap. We need, we need to hear it, John. <laughs> it needs to be a noise. I'll snap yeah. right now. One yeah yeah exactly. All right, John, your turn. <laughs> oh, that was sad. <laughs> was sad. Oh. Like, oh man, we might have to cut that out because of how sad it was. I know, no, but yeah, I would have been. I would uh, be screwed if I had yeah. the Infinity yeah. Gauntlet. And like, then part just... of it too, right? The Infinity Gauntlet is. It, it, this is interesting. Like you have to think about what you're doing, or what. Well, and the that's deal? what I yeah, said. That makes I said, sense. I like how like everyone knows how to use the stones, no matter yeah. what. Like you're just wielding how them, scary. and you're like, I got yeah. this. Like I, I know how to do this. Like uh, let me just think about it. And try to yeah, stand. Let me just finger. think real hard. <laughs> and because if you think about food for a second, then like that happens instead of something else. Everyone turns into food. But it's, it's, it's also the power of just all of it together 
Because Which, with the stones separately, you can use for whatever the fuck. Like, it seems like Thanos can just use one of the stones to do something crazy without it destroying him. Right. Um, and Depending on who you are, because like, sometimes... Being, yeah, yeah. Well, true. It, it took the Guardians, all the Guardians yeah, to take just one. The Power Stone, yeah. Um, so he does the snap, and we have this weird little reveal. And this was what I was wondering, too. When it happened... Run, runs outside and looks at the flowers and the like, birds. yeah, <laughs> we and did then, it. Uh, someone gets a phone call. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hawkeye gets a phone call from his... Um, from, oh, from his wife, yeah. which is like this pretty is for crazy. Me when the movie was like, I was just this lost third in act. the movie now. Yeah. Not lost in a bad way, but I was like, everyone's back. Like what? Yeah. Like for me, I was like, what is happening in this? Like what's yeah. the what's going on? I think bro? that's like I mean, because in the books that happens too. When they undo it, I don't think they undo it with a snap, but they undo it like in an instant. And so yeah. like that's that's that, that shows would, how how the Infinity Gauntlet works. Like yeah. it's just it's just godlike power. Hopefully you didn't like bring back like any like terrorists or like any, like like <laughs> in the would, act of terror. Yeah, exactly. Just be like, just don't think of those people. Well, there's a lot like it. it it's a big moment, but we in the theater you only think about. The hero, like the heroes, you're just like, oh my gosh, where's Black Panther now? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like the uh-huh. things that that are important, without being like, wait a minute, <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> wait a minute, what's going, whoa, 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 wait a minute, but uh, it's what about also, the other half of the cartel or something, or like you know, or yeah. like a uh, uh, other stuff? So it's pretty <laughs> I, funny. Here's what I will say though, I did not think that that was going to happen. I thought they were going to somehow stop. Thanos from ever snapping. Does that make sense? Like I thought they were going to for making it snap, fo- solve it from ever happening. Right. Yeah. Would, yeah. And that's exactly. why where I was wrong with my theory was that same here. No one would know that you know there was ever a snap because they stopped the snap. Same here. I happened. thought it was going to be more of like a reboot. Like instead of yeah. snapping, they would like just raise everyone's memories, bring everybody back. Yeah. But like you know, just it's like a you cleaner know. way. But now, like, because it's is. messy now. We're talking about it's all this fucking it's crazy. We shit. saw Dragon Ball. We're like, the, 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 bring the bring everybody back. Well, it's also it's also really it's, weird because I mean, you you have like characters like uh, Peter Parker who have to go back to high school yeah. after like five the, years the, and the shit. The world is just fucked, anyways. And then like, your teachers yeah. are like five years older. Yeah. Some of them and goodbye, some of your classmates. Goodbye, whales in the Hudson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the pollution's back, baby. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it's a really interesting like thing. Um, but uh, so let's let's stick to the the what happens. Here um, next, and this, this this is where like the movie goes into well and action mode, act, like like this maximum overdrive. Like, Thanos maybe. just like bombs the fuck out of Avengers, the Avengers facility. quickly, just like immediately, like they're all right there, Do but guys. It. <laughs> Nobody dies, which is good. Which is crazy. Which is really, like, yeah. some, one of them's a raccoon. Oh, that's think what of I how thought. easy a raccoon is to kill, like on the street, <laughs> bomb one by so, accident. Try it. Try yeah, it. <laughs> and Thanos is doing it purposely, like. No well, wonder he failed. I also, I, I thought that was going to be the moment where Rocket died. Because did you see him drowning in drowning? the thing? It was yeah. just like it sad. was heartbreaking. Yeah, because he's screaming. Like I think um, Ant really, Man's running. He really over. threw that Star is Born acting War Machine into that voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're far from the shadow <laughs> yeah, exactly. now. Literally, yeah. Hangover. Ooh. So you have yeah, because it's so crazy that you have a. Uh, like you know, um, it's so crazy that no one dies in that in that thing. I'm just saying because like it's a I giant, guess. it's a giant ship. The yeah, ship like, is like huge. Ha- half of your team members in there are human. Like we're talking about like star destroyer sized fucking Thanos ship, oh, like raining. A it, hundred acres are cratered. Like from even the yeah. what you see, it's all gone. Like he he makes a battlefield. Like hey, we're gonna fight in this. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> yeah, look like, at this. Look how big. I like, made it. You know, all of you are gonna come back. That's a big battle. Look at this. You can green screen this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's 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 yeah. It's, it's wild because the Avengers are. In, off in a different everyone's in a different place except for the big three, three. Tim, Duncan, Tim Duncan Tony, Tony Parker, Parker Manu, Manu Ginobili, Ginobili. Goldsberg oh mm-hmm. man they, they lose mm-hmm. the I don't know I don't want to look okay, cool. you want to look no I'll look right now hold on yeah we're, gonna, we're, we're about to learn uh, if the Spurs lost here guys we're anyways, all from Texas so if anyone you, fucking so you have Captain America didn't notice you have Thor and you have Iron Man the big three yeah big three ba- back in action and right. they're the only three around and we get a fight sequence and I don't want to break down every single moment, but we get a fight sequence that basically sees each of the three, each of the three. They lost. No, it's the fourth quarter, and they're down by a lot. Like that's a low scoring points. game. Whenever this airs, that's um, a really low scoring. Is this the last game? If the Spurs yeah, lose, do yeah, they? We spoo- we'll, Ooh, so they'll be snapped. Honestly, by the end of this episode, of the- we'll know. Yeah. Um, oh gosh. They're another victims of the fucking snap. Yeah. San Antonio Spurs. Now you know where, where we live. <clears throat> we bleed silver and black. But so each of these heroes have an amazing. Se- and I I love this because you have the three. 
yeah. OGs yeah. fighting Thanos. Oh yeah, Thor stole and there's Mjolnir still, from there's the still Dark new world. shit. There's still oh yeah, he stole yeah, it. He stole Mjolnir from the Thor the from Dark Ultra. World. And there's new stuff. From Fit Thor. They still have. I mean, Iron Man has like an amazing ass suit that has a million things now. Yeah, uh, you're oh. gonna say amazing ass. And he, I mean, later on, we, we learned that his suit has a protocol for stealing the gauntlet, which is insane, <laughs> that he built or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's pretty um, crazy, too. Because he's like, look over there. I'll take the gauntlet. Ha-ha, bitch. <laughs> um, but uh, we see Thor double-wielding, uh, baby. Bionir and The Darth Maul of, I'm kidding. Yeah, the fat Thor just like, you know, Hit dancing in the wind with both. But we also know just how powerful Thanos is, even without the damn stones. This yeah. is also oh, yeah. this is also a younger Thanos, so maybe like you know he's more fit. He's not as thick because he's also he's beating he's beating everyone's ass with even with like he beats Thor's yeah. ass with both hammers, or, and, like and the hammer is, and the which axe. Which is weird because like uh, Stormbreaker alone cut through the entirety of the power of the Infinity Gauntlet oh, yeah. in the, the first one, yeah. And suddenly Thanos is like. Did you just Fucking smack strong. me with that shit? I caught it, bitch. Or like, yeah, and check out this. Uh, he has this really interesting weapon too. This I guess, giant Darth sword. Maul yeah, 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 yeah. It's like very. Um, they can spin very fast. Well, At one point, he's like going really fast. The color guard. Let's, let's talk about the moment that everyone loves from that OG three fight sequence. So yeah, and I, I called this a little bit uh, like uh, kind of like a week before. I said, hey, um, someone's gonna almost die, and then Cap's gonna pick up the hammer, and so he does. The yeah. Thor's about to die, right? Oh, so yeah, yeah everyone yeah. at some moment is about to die, yeah. even just with this small battle yeah. with the big three. Some people are drowning. Hulk's about to get crushed yeah. to death. Ronan's being ch- uh, chased by the Outriders. In an alien moment. Yeah, aliens. Yeah. Alien. Run. Yeah. Uh, and so we have this really cool moment where not only does Captain America get the hammer, but he knows how to he, fucking I know, use he it. Uses the, li- the lightning. I was like, whoa. Like, he's, I, I he's thought he was God. just going hit, to hit, like, hit him. Like, uh, yeah. uh, uh. But no. He's he, straight. He's like bouncing the, the oh, shield like throws, between him. He throws, <laughs> between him he and throws the hammer at the shield and makes a it, shockwave. It bounce, uh, bounces off and hits Thanos. And I was like, oh. Like, he Thanos un- did not see this coming he, whatsoever. He unlocks a new Mortal Kombat move. Yeah. Right, exactly. So at this point, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, this is like we're on full-on fan service mode. But from also, this movie. again, I've seen it in the book, so it but, took away from it. But still cool. I love how you, you're like saying that. You're to. just like, hey, but fuck I that. Like because it. So fun fact, uh, it's funny. You know that was, Ford didn't make the first automobile, but they made yeah. it better? Right. <laughs> hey, but he was the OG. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, he, uh, so actually, fun fact, I work at a comic book store that's inside a movie theater. Nuh-uh. And I went, to, I went into one of the showings, and I was at this part. And uh, even no matter how many, you know, I wouldn't say negative things, but critiques I have, yeah. I still was like blown oh, away. From everyone what I was loved watching. that moment. And it, it, it does call back to the Age of Ultron scene where Captain America almost picks up the damn hammer. Yeah. yeah. And Thor's like, yeah. I knew it. And his shield was broken almost like, oh, kind of like in Age of Ultron. Remember where he's like on the ground and his shield was broken? Well, Thanos, and yeah. Thanos' well, sword so, is strong enough so to. So Iron Man is top. out of commission. Yeah. Thanos is almost winning at this point. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, his shield is broke. Yeah, uh, it, you the take exact the lead. Same way it was built it up from the vision. Build it up. You take the lead. Uh, and Thanos is like, "Cause I'm gonna grab bro, another beer." I don't like you. I don't like anything about you, bro. That's what Thanos says, word for word. Yeah. And he says, "Guess what? I'm not only gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill your the family, whole planet." Right. And suddenly, all the bad guys from every Avengers movie is there. The Chitari are there. The fucking Outriders are yeah, there. Col- yeah, Cold City of the, the children. The Thanos. The children yeah, are the Black there. Order. And 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 then the Ultron. Bot. Classic Captain it's got America. Sakarins. No, it, oh, you got Sakarins there. You don't got um. The fucking got, Hydras there. You don't got Ultron yeah, bots though. Hydra, exactly. <laughs> everything. Aim from Iron the Man Vulture. Three. The Vulture. Yeah, from all the, first the villains. Half. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. That doesn't happen, guys. That would be like, cool. Fucking Magneto I is wish. in the background. That would have been the only thing that can top this. <laughs> and so. So uh, uh, Captain America does his signature thing where he's down, and he says, "You know what? I'm fucking. I don't like bullies. He's like, I can do this all <laughs> motherfucking day. Me no like bullies." <laughs> he says that at the camera. Yeah, he does. He yeah. acts like a baby. He says, yeah. oh, "Mommy, don't like bullies. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy he's, don't like no bullies." And he stands up. Yeah, and then <laughs> and it's a really awesome, obviously keyframe art there that they like, you know, just basically uh, him walking yeah. towards the mm, entire the army. Than, army of Thanos that he has there, almost like Lord of the Rings almost style, almost like Jon Snow in the Battle of the Bastards. It's fucking good. And at then this point, at this point, I'm already. And on. then on your left, oh. yeah, you get you get basically <laughs> audio com uh, intro um, Falcon Zord. Here we go. We're gonna redo the entire scene right yeah, now. Yeah, somehow Falcon, and then, and then this happens, and then this happens, and then this happens. Wait, also. Somehow Falcon still had the same frequency that he had five years ago, and just like talking to a Captain America from from. Uh, but that's Captain America who yeah. says that, right? And to, what? 
Kevin oh, yeah, Riker yeah, says he that? Says on no, your on your left, yeah. yeah. And so, and then you get this sling ring circle opening up, and here we see the, the three Oscar-winning mm-hmm. people, Shuri Okoye and Black Panther. Of course, those are the ones that have to come out there, uh, fresh First, off of yeah. the three. And, the, and three of them, three and also, Oscars. And also, we, I will say this, they deserve it because Wakanda, again, Forever. faces most of the casualties in the fight um, against Thanos. Also, yeah. there's a lot of sorcerers, though, I, but in, not, in that crowd. But also, the Infinity War <laughs> also killed a ton Shield, of them. Shield. Uh, what do they do with their guns? But we basically get what we wanted um, to see from and, this yeah, fucking... For 11 all, and, years. For 11 fucking and years. And then, like, 50 sling ring circles open up, and it brings everybody back. Everybody yeah. and their mom... We don't. We it's even, even hard. some people that you didn't see in action. Gwyneth Paltrow yeah. as rescue, uh. and you get you know. Uh, oh wait, wait, before we go there, though, it's just you get all them. You get all them folks like just lined up in a, in in battle formation. You, it looks like something right out of Lord of the Rings. It's fucking insane. And he finally says, "Avengers assemble!" After like. 11 or 22 movies Avengers yeah. Assemble which is like the catchphrase yeah. that super Captain America cheesy, has but I love yeah it. super cheesy obviously Real but cheesy. at this Good. point it's earned you know what I mean like it is earned oh, at this point yeah. it's earned at this point and then Avengers Assemble is shouted um, they're already assembled so like I feel like saying that is and like they would have been like don't you mean attack <laughs> <laughs> don't you mean Ibombe <laughs> Autobots. Okay. Yeah. So we do get, and it's gonna be hard here because oh, it's, it's it was hard. it was <laughs> extremely hard. Because this is, and I watched a video, and it this was is so illegal. Hard. This is illegal. But someone recorded the reaction of the theater, and it is just it is like amped up. You can't hear shit in this video. This illegal video. <laughs> Everyone made. was Everyone's throwing up, yelling, throwing like, up. Everywhere. Little moment, Spider Man swooping out. Shit, people themselves. like, oh shit! Yeah, there's fucking Spider Man, yeah, man. man. Well, Doctor Strange floating down, and, and you're then, like, man. You know, and to me, you get the best shot of the movie is when Ant-Man a uh, giant man levels on the fucking Leviathan hey, I'm like, out bro ooh, he, he fucking punches that fucking flying ass Groot Quill the, the works everyone's back everybody's there yeah. um, not Captain Marvel yet though because that happens a little later on <laughs> yeah that's true yeah, that's we'll talk true. about that later but then they start to play basically uh, the uh, Avengers keep Steve. away <laughs> with, the, with the Infinity Gauntlet, with the Infinity they play Gauntlet. monkey in the middle <laughs> it's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a football yeah, like thing just like they're, yeah it's, it's really funny it. <laughs> yeah um, uh, so there's all this crazy stuff going on the goal is still the same. Keep the stones away from Thanos because Thanos is... Kill um, as many outriders as you can. Yeah. Um, yeah. It seems like everyone there is and like just the hitting they're, anything that moves, really. They're trying to use the quantum rope or something to, to get the stones in to put them back. Yes. Yeah, really get cool. Re- get them away from Thanos. From Thanos, forever. yeah. And, and that's where we get the Captain Marvel scene. Where you get a wasp on them right before that, though. You get the, the wasp and shows the up and, and hangs out oh, with yeah, them. Yeah, that's Post-Captain Marvel. Moment. There's so, uh, it's so good. Doctor Strange saves them from drowning. Yeah, it's really insane. He was insane. like rocket almost drowned earlier i'm gonna fight water <laughs> yeah yeah he's like coons can't swim he's on waterfall patrol basically he's like, he's so like, he's just like he's gonna yeah. drown but so will we don't you think the sorcerers have enough power just to end the whole thing too well, why didn't he grab one of them one can create why didn't he just grab one of the sorcerers to do yeah. whatever he was doing like also, he's like can i i, I need to go fight also somebody just... needs to tell dr strange they have the time stone now and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dormammu we've come to park and they know us we're back <laughs> Uh, but who cares about that? Because we want because we want to see all this crazy. This we want fight, to see everyone's power. This the is the earned. Yeah. yeah, this is the earned. Um, uh, 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 <laughs> this is we're the all earned jerk. Right <laughs> this is literally what you know. Um, this is a better. You just grabbed a tissue. It's just really funny. Yeah. Uh, Happy tissue. Oh, I'm done. Or those sad tissues. I'm done. This is literally I'm the. Bed. I'm going to bed. This is the climax. Literally, it is the climax of the of of this. Uh, yeah, I keep saying it, but this is a giant saga. Like it's it, this is the battle you think you you yeah. wanted all along. You get basically, to see Drax stabbing Cole Obsidian. Oh. Uh, giant Man steps on him right after that. You rescue b- uh, back to back with um yeah. with Iron Man. And, yeah, and then you get to see Okoye kill Corvius Glaive oh. instantly. You get you, you every, get yeah. Okoye rescue Captain Marvel. You get a rematch between Wasp, Scarlet Witch, and Thanos. Scarlet, and Scarlet Witch and Witch. Thanos oh. fight. It Scarlet was like it's Witch right. claps him up until she doesn't, and then she loses. Yeah. yeah. So this is what draws the next thing um so thanos is actually losing in his battle in his fist fight basically with a scarlet witch and thanos um tells his ship to basically bomb the whole hell like the whole field that they're fighting on yeah. they're like but sir our soldiers yeah and thanos doesn't care so like he's basically fuck em. Fuck em. and then this is when you get captain marvel because you know they're they're basically about to die because like you know the ship is literally you know it's huge i was really worried for spider-man there's a moment where he starts to cry again like after he's getting bombarded yeah and so does like, rocket so good mr Stark. rocket's the same <laughs> way too bombs. rocket starts to like he he Jumps on top of Groot to try to like you know kind of save like him. save Again. him, oh, so and it's so up. sad. And then um, out of nowhere, something enters the atmosphere at a high speed, and then the like, ship starts focusing fire. That's a on really that. awesome scene. Like and then the- burr, it gets cold in here. There must be some Toros in the atmosphere. <laughs> that's a. Uh, um, 
That's a reference to a cheerleader movie. Okay, cool. Bring it on. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's a bring it on. So, like, they start shooting. Thanos' ship stops shooting at the ground and shoots, like, in Into the sky. The clouds. And then um, they're obviously hitting whatever is coming, and it's just it not stopping. Right. Yeah. And then she Ronin ships the, the yeah, yeah, and so Thanos' ship. Flies through it like paper. And yeah. Captain Marvel in all her glory is revealed um, as the savior of this scene. Um, it's really awesome. I see a lot of people online making fun of her haircut, but um, her haircut is very comic accurate, and I'm, I'm down with that. That's yeah. pretty awesome. Um, she's there. She's basically, um, she blows up the entire ship and Thanos at this point is kind of worried. Like they show it, they cut to his face where he's kind of like, oh shit, like maybe my plan's not getting off this planet. Yeah. Like he's like, I don't think (laughs) he's got to stay here now. (laughs) Well, for Thanos, it's clarifying because there's only one thing he can do. Now he's, he needs the stones. He needs to get the gantlet back. Um, I know the, the one size fits most Iron Man thing. Right, yeah, and then so like, and then Captain Marvel flies down to Spider Man. Spider Man basically, um, you know, gives they introduce each other. Yeah. There's a little comedic Spider-Man moment there. Also, uh, uh, webs the M- Mjolnir, doesn't he? Like the oh yeah, oh, yeah, he, he catches he catches a no near yeah because he's about to get like over yeah. overrun and then I thought Spider Man was going to catch it. That and instant like, kill mode, even he can wield it. Oh shit, shit. yeah, that would have been crazy. I love how like uh, they activate instant kill mode and stuff like that, but Karen is nowhere like you know hasn't been present yeah. since the original like his suit AI yeah. hasn't been present since. Oh, that's yeah. another Spider-Man. actor to yeah. pay for. They just have that's to. Pay totally, all that's these totally true. Yeah. In this one five yeah. minutes, they have to pay. They're like Paul Bettany. You can sit this out, and that saves us thousands of dollars. They could have just brought her back as Betty. Yeah. No, no, she's the other one. Yeah, that's the other Betty. Oops. Oops. Um, (laughs) Well, we think Captain Marvel's appearance is important because Captain Marvel is... The future. The, and not just the future, but she's supposed to be able to kill Thanos. Yeah, yeah. And there's, there's a really awesome scene there. Um, you do get the, Andrew said there's a, the, the A-Force. A-Force. The A-Force, um, you A-Force. know, um, a team up of all the Marvel um, female heroes, which is really awesome. Because you get, like, you know, they're basically, they destroy, like, a, a looks like a, a platoon yeah. of fucking Thanos' army. I'm kind of sad that Black Widow wasn't there. Yes, exactly. That's, me and, and, me and Drew were talking. So, I think so that's why it was. Me. Well, yeah. I think that's and, the and, whole reason they you know, did that. Yeah, like for her. But they should have said something, like, you know. Damn. For Natasha or something, yeah, yeah like because she would have been leading the pack, like yeah, that. Sure. She would have been the the lead. Oh, I'm getting sad now. Um, so and then you get Captain Marvel. Uh, <laughs> it's so kidding. funny because like Spider Man's like, how are you going to get through all that? And like Captain Marvel alone could just do that, but she has obviously like the uh, the, the A Force um, backing her up. Um, it is really awesome. Um, then you get your your obligatory. Um, Mantis didn't do shit. I was trying to figure okay, out. Okay, come on. God damn it! She but was like, making all the bad guys feel sad <laughs> and killing themselves. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you have that, and that's pretty awesome. And you do. Um, I think right after this scene, Thanos kind of knows that like they're trying to get it to the quantum realm. I think Captain Marvel doesn't have a suit. She's just gonna fly right into the quantum he, realm. He blows up the van. Yeah, so he blows up the van. Um, the and then and then you get an actual fight, fist fight between Captain Marvel and Thanos, and it's really actually pretty satisfying because you can tell she's re- very very strong. She's, she's like she, she's, he playing mercy. Him. she's playing mercy with him, and yeah. she's like bending him back, <laughs> playing mercy. Yeah, yeah. Mercy, 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 mercy. And I like that because, but in this, just Thanos at the very end is kind of like a little just smarter, so he yeah. grabs like a power stone out and just like knocks her out. Yeah, shoots her, and I was like, yeah. And then we get the the moment of the movie that like he is grabs the power stone, puts it back in the gauntlet. He's about to put it on, about and to snap, snap twice. Yeah, about to snap yeah. basically, yeah. and then. This is where Iron Man ambushes him. Yeah. But but before that, he looks to the water, and Doctor Strange looks at him. And, and he, he says, puts hey, up one finger. Yeah, this like, finger. This, yeah, exactly. He's like, this is the one thing. Like, you had to do it. Well, and it's cool, because he does ask him beforehand, like, hey, um, is this a timeline you saw? And Doctor Strange's like, I can't tell you. Because they, they told you. Because he's probably, like, they've like, probably seen that question no, in the future. Like, yeah. when they ask him, he's like, oh, yes, it is. And then, and then like, that, they lose. The timeline didn't work out. But you know what's weird is that, you know... I don't know. There was a bunch of time travel shit, and then he's like, "Oh no, I can't tell you that." One. Like we, uh, we we broke every rule in time travel, but I can't. T- no, no, no. But this is the one I can't. No, well, no, 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 no. And this is what I was saying. That Iron is Man, pretty funny. Yeah. Iron Man, I think, and I feel like he prepared a special gauntlet removal thing for his. Oh suit. yeah, yeah, Because yeah. this wasn't something he did when they were they look like on s- Titan. I, I no. like, like this has- was something new because they're, they're swimming right. Like because like you yeah. see that the stones like fall into place, like almost well, like 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 it's like a like liquid on purpose. It's gonna and, do yeah. what he wants it to do. It's weird because like he doesn't have security features. Like if he were to just leave his suit lying around, like you know, yeah. crossbones could just jump in that bitch and then take off. Well, I don't know what because we go from a very and this may be more on like an Iron Man spiel, but we go from a very like practical everything is the size that it is 
to nanobots that come out of everywhere and can make anything. Yeah. Right, yeah. So you're like, man, this is like, now it's like a legit superpower. This isn't even like you making a good suit. Which just, kind of, I mean, it, it can do whatever you want. It falls in line with what Iron Man, I mean, because after he got the extremists. He, he could do that. He yeah. could change it He's basically that like, he wanted to. Yeah. the Iron Man in the comics yeah. is like a, almost like Superman after he gets well, like and, extremists. Like he's connected yeah. to his suit. It's not like yeah. something he puts on. Like he is the suit. And it's a gradual thing, right? Like from this having to build the gigantic suit, multiple versions of it, to now it's in a briefcase, to now it's in your ass, you. and it just pop, <laughs> pops out. <laughs> uh, yeah. In your but, ass. So he, he gets the, the gauntlet, and he's not a god, first of all. Like, he's not... He's a man, no, and I think ultimately, Iron Man. <laughs> no, he is Iron That's Man. That's true. He does say, "I am." Because what, a little what does, cringy. What does Thanos say? Thanos I am says, inevitable. I, oh yeah, exactly. I am inevitable. Yeah. And then he says, "Like, and I am." And then for some reason, I knew who was going to say Iron Man. I just hope, yeah. wished he didn't. He, and I then he, he says said it, Batman. Well, it's also also it's, it's that would have like, been funny. It's his last words. I am Iron Man because he doesn't talk. So after fucking that. full of himself. <laughs> Ugh. But it's also what kind of starts off the mcu is when yeah, he right, says, yeah. it's like iron a man. huge part it's like you know what fuck it i'm iron man yeah. and it it just sh- goes to show how powerful the gauntlet is because he is done after he snaps yeah he's done like, yeah because he it, it doesn't kill hulk it doesn't kill thanos but it i mean iron man's you know he's, he's not guy, any he's of those dude. people he he's, claps a, he's him a, up and also he's, he's a human. Like 50 if he was 20 maybe <laughs> Maybe. It's also it's very sad. So like he snaps his fingers for some again another snap. Like yeah. people just love Univ- snapping the in this fucking language yeah. of. Yeah, the, the universal. John, John tried to snap. No, fuck y'all. <laughs> Hear how loud that one is. Oh, there's me and Emmanuel snapping. Oh, I hate oh. y'all. Oh, anyway, oh. 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 oh man, if we had Infinity Gauntlets, we'd be fucking <laughs> up so much shit right now. Everyone would be and- dead. <laughs> Five times with us. I'm <laughs> um, so he snaps, and basically um, all of I, I say basically a lot too. I just I say ultimately. It. You say basically and literally. John too. also literally. said literally a lot. What I, do you say a lot? I think I say um. Um. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> That's true. You do say that um, a lot. Um. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Um. Uh. uh, uh Thanos ultimately, is. Ultimately, I will. Um. Fuck. Um. You. <laughs> After this uh, Stark snap, um. Uh. Thanos's soldiers start turning to dust. So he basically. God damn it! He um ultimately oh <laughs> um he ultimately um <laughs> damn John just put them both together. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that either. Like yeah um god damn it. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk. So the um the I snap so. basically happens, and it's uh holy shit. Sorry, we're we're also looking Spurs at the okay, at the cool. Spurs go, go, go. the Spurs game. Um yeah he um he. He did. Uh, he did a snap so he can kill all of Thanos' forces. Um, whether or not that that it, he killed uh, half of Thanos' forces. Whether or not that includes <laughs> Gamora, which is kind of crazy because we don't see Gamora after, like you know, after this battle scene, because um, she does interact with Quill. At, I think well, at one that's point. That's true. That's a really big thing. Is Gamora is she was part of Thanos? Well, I think Gamora is pulled oh, no, from. A, no, we'll we'll right. talk about that here, like oh, in, in the ending. Nebula, we never talked about that, but yeah, Nebula Gamora yeah, becomes. Yeah, a we good, did. Yeah, you're right. Shit. There was a Nebula. Does become good. Yeah, there was a Nebula versus Nebula fight scene. We'll say that here. Um... That, nebula versus Nebula, Cap yeah. versus cla- Cap. Clap, ne- yeah, clap. Nebula versus Nebula. Nebula is um Cap versus Clap. <laughs> she was a she was a pretty um Nebula is an awesome character. Like the the character that that uh if I can go on a little tangent here, the character that was introducing Guardians is not the same one anymore. It's well, pretty awesome it, that she had a full arc. It's really cool that they gave her her due in this one because she is a really big part of the source material. The actual, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's um she's she's pretty important to it. I and thought she was awesome. gonna die. And the I, source not, material, the Bible. Not only <laughs> that, but I thought she was gonna be the one to kill. Thanos. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's kind of like how it's sort of set up. I mean, there's a, there's a scene Drax like that. Drax also. Drax is made to kill Thanos. Everyone is, he was made is set up to kill Thanos. <laughs> yeah. Thanos well, should kill Thanos. Well, and that's what I wanted about for the final battle is like I wanted everybody to like gangbang him. Not, not, you know, I'm talking like, you know, like beat him up, like clapping them cheeks. And like I would, it would have been cool for like Black Panther to hit him and yeah. for, you know. Just you know, have you seen uh, that splash page from yeah. Gauntlet? Have you, have you seen Death Proof when like the, all the girls just fucking beat the yeah. shit out of Stuntman yeah. Mike at the end? Oh yeah, you thought that, it was gonna that, be like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I wanted to, but no, they had to do the army thing again. We're like, we fought an army in the first well, Avengers. This is, and this is the why the, this is why there's a good first fight with the, uh, Thor and and Captain and Iron Man, um, and then really the only person that directly fights him is Cap Scarlet Martin. Witch, Captain Marvel. Like, there's very they did selectively choose. Which the one's going to have to, yeah. Um, and really, just the ones who have a reason, I think, from Infinity War. Because, yeah. again, Scarlet Witch has that big reason. He, yeah, he, ki- he killed your yeah, husband. Yeah. And Captain um, Marvel, because she's so overpowered, needs to fight him. What did and you guys Iron Man. think about the Iron Man death sequence? It's heartbreaking. Because we did, they did, I feel like Spider-Man reversed Spider-Man. Yeah, I didn't like that. 
I didn't like the reverse Spider-Man moment. Like, I feel like, I mean, the, the you know, Spider-Man went in there and, and was like, you know, getting very sad and everything. I kind of wanted Rhodey to push him out of the way. I was yeah, just like, well, hey, what I, the fuck? And then like, Falter was like, get the fuck out of here. He's my husband, you bitch. <laughs> that being said, that that scene, I think adding Pepper to it and adding having Pepper That's like huge. be so casual, like yeah. kind of like she's because she's she's still talking to Tony. Tony, this is the last moment, so obviously you want to talk to him like the way Tony is. Yeah. So she's like, you know. Hey, you can rest now. Like you know, she's ca- she's casually just basically yeah, like you know talking to him. Well, this is big for her. Because and it's so remember, sad. He can't say anything. He's yeah. like he's vegetable. like he's almost like vegetable like basically. He's like his um he like you know the the, the he's literally mind blown yeah. to the point where he's like very near death. Literally. Well, remember Potts dealt with everything. Ev- ev- all of the times that we don't see him in movies, Potts is with him. And think about that with Iron Man three. Remember when he is going through his PTSD because of what he saw and he almost kills her a couple of times. Um, and so she understands just what is going on with, with Stark um, overall and, and kind of dealing with all of his emotions and the, the way, she, the way he, he, has, he has to, or the like the way he, he is. Yeah. And then that's, that's, it's that's why it's so touching there at the very end yeah. when she's like, "You can rest now," like you know, it's just okay. casually saying that, and then she breaks down when yeah. he's dead, and, and that's like so. That's so, and that's know, why very that, heartbreaking. That's why there's so much importance in that scene with him and his father is that uh, he had to learn that it's okay for you to go for the right reasons, and you know he's a good, he's still a good guy, and right, you know, yeah, he, he, even though he wasn't around for a long time, he. He he became someone that that his dad could be proud of. Mm-hmm. Same thing for 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 Tony at the end is you know I have a daughter, um, and you can tell that they have this really amazing relationship from every time you see her. Well, and he he was never gonna stop. Yeah, ever. If there was something else that came up, that's he was totally true. Go, and that yeah. was, you know, he was going to go again, maybe that time, that's and then, his or the time after that, or the yeah. time after that. That's it what was, Pepper said. Pepper he was said, never like, going to be okay with just not doing anything. Well, because like, Pepper said to, that to save somebody. She says that too, right? Doesn't she say like, you know, trying to stop you has been one of the biggest failures yeah. of my life. That's yeah. true. Early so, on, and I mean, to have his daughter, you know, lose him then, or yeah. when she's older and she can comprehend what's happening, you know, that's a little bit more heartbreaking to her and. Now she can grow up with happy as a father. It's a real, it's a, <laughs> boom. There it's you go. a real g- a gut punch well, to, and, the, to, to everyone. Well, and just in general too, because like all these movies, we we talk about. You know, we've said it obviously time and time and again on this podcast, and even during this um, recording specifically. Uh, holy shit! Um, sorry. Well, again, that's the the. Don't wind back up. <laughs> that's the uh, my bad. We're also checking the score. Um, it's. This all started with Tony Stark. Like, you know, this was all a gamble. Like, you know, um, Robert Downey Jr., um, we didn't know if he was going to be, like, a, a really good Tony Stark. Yeah. Um, I think um, we talked about it before we recorded, which is, like, you didn't remember this, but we actually had, like, our, you know, we got free tickets to go see Iron Man back in, yeah, I think we in got, 2008. Like, you know, they didn't even pay to, to, to support the movie. Well, it, this, is, this is how insane it was, is we were working in a high school... Something we were working in high school. Yeah, they, on, were, they were working in a high school on our education. Yeah, on our education, we were yeah. working in high school. So we were going to high school, and we had like a little TV show uh, where we talked about whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like a broadcast one, but right? Like Iron a Man one? was yeah. such a which was such a crapshoot for Marvel because they had just got out of bankruptcy and they were trying to figure out what can we do. And so Spider Man, Spider Man, they gave free tickets to high school kids <laughs> to go watch to their go movie. Watch their yeah, yeah, Iron Man, movies. and we got those free tickets because I remember. <laughs> I, we, Dumbass movie. We got those tickets and we went to go watch them. And then you blew it off. You didn't even go see it. We went to go fucking shit on each other. <laughs> <laughs> what? In our van. No, I don't what? remember that. Oh, yeah. No. I, what? But so it was such a big deal because we them. came back to to we came back to class and we talked about. it I feel yeah. like we did talk because you were like saying like on how witty it was and this and that. Well, I had the, the my my only frame of reference was X-Men <laughs> and you know there was a very different kind of superhero, superhero movie, movie Spider-Man. Time, yeah. I waited in line to see Spider-Man. You were very You were very into uh pirates at the at the time. I, I remember that. I love it. I had, a, but, but I, I had a Johnny Depp impression uh, that has not aged well. Did not obviously, age well yeah, exactly. At not at all. <laughs> um but yeah, so it's it's just it, and this this it all started there though, like and, at that one. And you could make the case now that the Marvel Cinematic Universe, this first, I don't even know, this isn't even a phase. This Infinity Saga, saga is centered around Iron Man. Iron Man. Ugh. So, which is insane. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of characters. Like, there's so, a ton of characters. And, Obviously, and, and yeah. To me, like that was always like one of my biggest gripes was that because like, when Iron Man came out, Andrew was like, Iron Man's not the the leader of the Avengers. Yeah, exactly. Like, you're just like, what the fuck? And yeah. That was always it. And I think I said it on a past podcast or maybe in one of our chats afterwards, where that was always one of the biggest things. Where like, if 
in order to have a new leader, he has to move on because there's no way you can have him there and have, you know, again, someone else usher in a new age because everyone's always going to be asking, where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? So I never really dug on how Robert Downey Jr. centric the MCU became, but I understand why it is because, you know, he was the first one, whatever. You know, and I get it. We get this really touching funeral scene, which we'll talk about. And I remember reading mm-hmm. how some people were like, well, there was a scene where everyone was together. By and the everyone lake, thought yeah. it was like a good a scene. A battle scene, They're like, yeah. it's a wedding. Like, you know, this is really amazing. Like, oh, wow, uh, all the characters are back, even Michael Douglas. And they were talking about how it took months and months to schedule Michael everyone Chiklis? to be at the same place. Samuel L. Jackson would be there. They were there for like 10 minutes. Yeah, and they're just so like, a lot Sam of- Jackson was hiding from the battle, I guess. Like every- The whole <laughs> time. He was like, I yeah. can't do anything. I can drive my car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but w- so I think everyone had this idea that it would be a happy thing that reunited everyone, and instead we get this really touching uh, one or one shot funeral. Of yeah, all of the people that have been affected by Iron Man, which is re- literally everybody. Everyone. What's this? Everybody Aliens in the too. Everybody. Ty Simpkins. Yeah, they have like yeah the Ty Simpkins sure, thing yeah. is, is really funny because like um, no one knew who he was. Explain who that guy is. So He's from Iron Man three. Ty Simpkins little kid. is is the little kid that um Potato I don't even guy. know his fucking name. He's the guy who like the kid who who's in Iron Man three, which is um one of my favorite MCU movies. And apparently nobody else's. But, oh, yeah. like, it's, um, he's that kid, and he's uh, present at the funeral. So, like, whenever you see, like, you know... He's old as fuck. When you see the camera panning down, and it looks like someone like Evan Peters. It's not him. It's not... <laughs> so, it's it's Ty Simpkins. That being said, that funeral scene is really touching up until you start panning to the other Avengers. Because then, then it gets... Uh, it's a little long, because you, you're trying to get every Avenger in there. Um, you, the Guardians are there. Um, you know, they're they're... They had their heads, you know, down. I like that it ended with Nick Fury because Nick Fury was was the one, the one who brought who them all together. Yeah. Him in, but he came from the back though, so it's almost like he like he just came from the bathroom. Yeah, and he's it was hilarious. In the yeah, he likes because like he he comes from the back. Captain Marvel was like right at the at the yeah. in the front. It's the emotional end of the film, but it's not the end of the film because we also get a moment where uh, they need to go put back the stones. Yeah, yeah, they uh, but. Uh, yeah, that, and, and we kind of yeah. also see, I think, right before that. The last thing before that is Scarlet Witch and Hawkeye talking about loss. Mm-hmm, and that's yeah. when, for me, it was. It felt like Marvel was telling us the permanence of those losses because they talk about Black Widow and they talk about Vision. Vision, yeah. In, Quick, so in, a way, <laughs> in a way that they're like, they're not going to come back. Right, and yeah. And so I, I don't know. <laughs> Well, I really and, don't. And then Hulk was like, I really tried so hard to bring her, bring Black Widow yeah. back. So maybe she is, and she's covert, and she's out there somewhere. Hidden and she, or something? Yeah, or maybe, yeah. you know. Or maybe, maybe she's not. dead. Maybe she's yeah. dead. Or maybe not. Maybe go so that, that was. I felt like that was a really important thing that they decided to put in, because out of all of them, they decided the two that lost something really close to themselves were going to have this conversation. And you can't keep bringing people back from the dead. I don't know. Yeah, it's true. It doesn't, no it doesn't really happen. Yeah, exactly. They, then you just you, you blow your um you blow your reality. Um, but let's talk about putting the Infinity Stones back. You also get Thor joining the Guardians here. Oh, the, yeah. He makes, when, um, he makes Valkyrie queen we, of Asgard. We talked about whether or not we think the Asgardians might happen. But you know what? We'll save that for the for the part where we talk about the future. Yeah. Well, okay, okay. Cool. Again, another reference to new comic books that is, is out right now, Asgardians of the Galaxy. Asgardians. Mm. Um, Asgard. <laughs> Thanos needs an Asgard from uh, Ant-Man, am I right? Yeah, yeah, oh, sure. yeah, yeah. So uh, let's talk about that. Or from scene. everybody, apparently from this movie. Uh, what, what, yeah. So they charge Cap yeah. with, "Hey, like, uh, here are all the Infinity Stones. Here's Mjolnir. Go fucking put this shit back so that we can, you know, live happy lives or whatever." And you know, because if not, then paradox. You know, different timelines and all that shit. So if he puts it all back, is there's you know a singularity is achieved and everything's okay. And uh, this, and you know they Hulk's like, hey, you're gonna be gone for like five seconds, and we'll bring you back real quick, you know. So for you, you take as much time as you need, or whatever. They have infinite amount of pin particles now that Hank Pym's back and all that good stuff. So um, he goes off, and then he doesn't come back. Stop. You're, you're like, Stop. what? He is the next Captain America after Steve Rogers. But so again, more pulling for more, more from the uh, newer comics where Cap is old. He eventually does team up with Deadpool when he's old because they can still use his mind as a tactician and stuff like that. So um, he ends up teaming up with Deadpool while you know Falcon is Cap. That's really interesting. So we we end with we're finally at the ending, I'm, and we're going to go back and talk about a lot of this other the stuff. The end too. game, but we are finally at the ending of the end game, and we have a really emotional. 
uh, dance with with Captain America and Peggy. And, and Peggy Carter. Finally got that dance. Finally that got song. that dance. Yeah, and it, it's it is the end of Captain America. I feel I I don't think there's any reason for him to to continue. To yeah, continue. I mean they can do these little reality. right. They can eventually do like these little one shots or something. Whenever Disney, whatever Disney Plus is coming around, and like they do yeah. these little. Um, you know, they can even do like little short stories or something like that. And they, 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 they leave it open for that. But pretty much like in the future of the MCU, I think Cap is pretty much retired. Yeah. And there is no after credit scene, but they do get an homage. This isn't, uh, some people what speculate it, like this is something that's really important, but it's not. It's, it's, I mean, it's important, but it's not like some, he's building it again. It's just the audio. Oh, the ending? Yeah. Of him building the, the, first, the suit. first suit as like a, uh, you know, it's like a little callback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked to so many people today because, again, I work in a movie theater, yeah. so I heard it all day long. Um, people were like, "Oh, who's building something else? Maybe someone else is going to be Iron Man." I'm like, "No, it's like no. It's, well, it's it's literally it's like the, the church. Audio. It's like the church bell of yeah. like you know we're ringing the bell, but it's like you know." I think comicbookmovie.com said that like uh, they like to think, uh, or the person who wrote that article um, said that like is building the armor. No, they they like to think of like Iron Man still building in the afterlife because you know he just can't keep still. Yeah, you never know death. Then it's a big thing with Thanos, you know. And death is an actual thing, you yeah. Know, um, so, yeah, in in, uh, in the Marvel she universe. Back so Thanos, like, maybe, maybe she brings back RDJ. Maybe they go back and obviously yeah. time travel is a thing. So Cap got to live out his life before yeah. Iron Man died. So he got to be best friends with him yeah. or whatever the fuck, you know. Well, I know. I I feel, and we're gonna go through all these characters uh, individually, but I I know that for Robert Downey Jr., this is a good ending that he wanted. So I I feel like that's not something that's gonna happen. Plus, his contract is finally over. And people were speculating, like, he's going to re-up. He's going to re-up. But at this point, you're like, why? Why? I mean, I would say give him a couple of years, though. Because, like, you know, he said the same thing after Iron Man 3. Yeah. So, I mean, I I would just say never say never. Just throw more money at him, and he's like, cool. Well, one of the... uh, I I listened to... The Variety had an interview with the Russo brothers, and anything that he's not contractually obligated to do, it takes a long time. He he didn't want to be in Civil War. It wasn't part of his contract to be in Civil War at all. And the Russo brothers had to... Pitch it to him as a great story. And this is what's really important about Endgame was uh, Robert Downey Jr. trusted them so much because of the way that they pitched Civil War to him. And they knew Civil War was complicated. And they were like, basically, we're going to have you fight Captain America. And Robert Downey was like, no, I don't like that idea. Yeah, And they had to work on it and, and finally get to a point where they were like, this is a good storyline. Um, and it's something that, that he really trusted with the Russo brothers, again, who tackle some really complicated storylines. For all their movies, and, really, um, yeah. He said that he, he he wanted them to handle the end or the, right, the yeah. finale for Iron Man. And that makes that makes a whole lot of sense, because Robert Downey Jr., does. it seems like he's a dude who needs convincing on most of these things. I yeah. mean, he was very on the fence for the first Avengers movie. Yeah. Um, cause he was like, you know, cause the movie that they created with Iron Man, you know, they're, they're grounded and like, you know, the first Iron Man movie, I mean, obviously it's, it's a superhero flick. So they, there's, there's, um, the fantastic element to it, but it's, it seems like the way the movie is told, it seems plausible. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you know, if someone was that very smart, like, you know, why couldn't they do that? And so he didn't want to blow that reality. And he was very, I think one of the first things he said to Joss Whedon when he first met him, you know, in a meeting just for the movie, he told him, he's like, Tony has to drive this thing. And it's so funny because like that, just for by him saying that it reflects Downey's ego, but also like in the same way, like you can tell like this is why he's Stark. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, uh, I think that's, that's, uh, that's just hilarious to me. So like, um, but yeah, you're right. Cause then, then he, you know, he doesn't buy all this other stuff unless he thinks it's good himself. Yeah. So, um, he's, I think he's at the point where, I mean, honestly, it's probably not about the money. Because he has right a, 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 a ton, a, a yeah. ton. He Way makes like half. He, he almost makes like the half the budget of oh, these yeah. movies. Yeah. So and so it it really is just about uh, legacy and whether or not the the role fits. All right. So we are going to take our very first break, and we will be <laughs> that was a lot right yeah, back, man. baby. Again, you're going to see another uh, episode in our feed called the Trivia Game episode. Thank you so much if you listened all the way these two hours for our insane and really deep endgame talk. Uh, thanks for listening. Review it, the podcast, if you like, and share it so that everyone can can have some fun with us. Um, but yes, that's it for this episode. If you want to l- l- listen to the Trivia Game, it's a whole lot of fun. It's a whole other episode. You'll see it labeled Avengers Endgame Trivia Game. Trivia Game.